And flop. Hello. <laughs> hey, everyone. There's not some music. There we go. I was already in the game checking out uh, the licenses. We'll unlock the licenses at 56. Now, I feel like it's going pretty fast. So we'll see if we get there today. But we're absolutely getting this little corner today. Finally, finally, <laughs> getting rid of this stupid block in the middle of my store. Uh, yes, I got four because actually they're really walking the whole day and evening. And I can't really order until they're done. So I decided to just hire four. <laughs> they are a big help. You'll be in and out, Megan. Alrighty. So hello, hello everyone. Hey, bud. Uh, Ida, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, Safe girl has followed today. Thank you very much. A couple of hours ago. Hey, Gibbles. <laughs> Juke Chen, thank you very much for subscribing. You'll be protesting outside my supermarket as my, my, my coffee is too expensive. You, you'll have to hold up a good sign, though, if you... <laughs> hey, Marius. Hey, Brendan. Matthew. Just here to say hi. Hi, bye. But I see you in Twitch as well. <laughs> nice. Hey, Megan. Hey, Ali. Hi. Radek. Hello, Fina. 
And there is Edgar. Thank you for being here, Edgar. Alrighty. Uh, I am not entirely sure. I, I took a day off yesterday. It was uh, well needed. Let me check though, because there's a couple of things we're still trying to run dry, basically. Okay, so that's steak and veal. We're trying to get it down to two. Now, obviously, the stalkers have changed a couple of things, right? Uh, we got this down to three sections, three sections of fridge. Um, Plex? Is that is that how you pronounce it? Hello. Hello, I was I, sometimes people add numbers to the name and I really have to think about how to add that. But the three didn't really fit there <laughs> in how I wanted to pronounce it at first. Okay, I see we're definitely, well, we're not running out of something. So what I did last time is I let a whole bunch of things run down in numbers. And I combined my yogurt with butter. Um, a couple of things happened with the update. They like the meat, the yogurt and the butter. They have a lot more on one shelf now. And it was just basically, I had hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars lying on the shelves that weren't getting sold in a whole day. And as long as I have a box in storage, my stalkers are gonna get it filled up again. So there was absolutely no reason for me to have so much out in the store it was literally a waste of money so i decided i think maybe we can actually ah three left okay but what about the one steak no no that's we'll get there we'll get there in like one or two days it's fine and then we'll have another fridge uh, fridge left over we have one more spot there at the bottom. More space for beer there. Uh, yeah, so I halved the chicken. See, this freezer is now empty. I halved the fries. I want to halve the, the crab sticks and the pizzas as well. Because we're going to get a load of fr freezer things coming with the... Uh, with the new... Uh, the new license is coming up. I'm just preparing. Hey, Famille. I uh, need help with choosing a new game. Which is better? Supermarket Simulator or Kebab Chefs? Wow, that's a choice. Uh, wow. Um, they're very different. Uh... Well, considering I'm reading back your messages, Clax, you're about to be banned, not just timed out. Please knock it off. Uh, <laughs> let's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, both. Why not? No, but I can understand. So not everyone has the money to buy both. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Because this game, this is a, a simple game, right? <laughs> It is straight to the point, simple, not not a lot of decorations, not a lot of options. You do step by step, you build you go forward, built on extremely ridiculously addictive. Very satisfying game. Kebab Chef has is way more complicated. It requires you actually to train in the cooking. You need to read a lot of the recipes. But you have so much more freedom in decorating your restaurant. You can decorate your house now. There's more recipes coming. It is such a... I, if you love cooking, I'd honestly go with Kebab Chef. However, I would say I would actually buy Supermark Simulator now and wait a little bit with Kebab Chef on some updates. Because it, it has just had an update. It got some bugs because it's so much more complicated you know you get some more bucks in there so if you say like okay i buy one game a month i would go like okay this month i'll buy a supermarket sim and then next month i'll buy kebab chef 
but if you if you like cooking i would go with kebab chef i will say that i am not sure where i left off uh, yesterday what i've been doing i clearly have not ordered yet they are done restocking okay i ordered too much of that <clears throat> okay let me do a check because there's a couple of things i am ordering now that i wasn't before these guys are done we're not ordering the steak and the veal here but we got chicken and beef right mm. so what else are we trying to lower down the salmon okay we got zero of that very good uh, i want to combine the salmon with the tuna the salmon is however i think 20 on one one shelf piece so really two is enough the small sushi would be great to combine with something but we might unlock something in the future mm. so what we really want to empty out is the the freezer stuff the problem was that i couldn't put these on the floor Let's see if I can now that I just loaded in. This is the ice cream. Obviously, we're going to get more ice cream. The fries are fine. We're going to take the pizza out. If I can. So I bought a bunch of pizza and then I realized that really what I should do is leave that to empty until we have half a fridge. Then I can remove the label. And the reason I can't really use the boxes to do that is because um, they keep throwing away the boxes. So if I do that, I basically lose my boxes. Yeah. And you too. Not the chicken, of course, and we already half the fries. Yeah. This way I have more control over it. We just need a couple of days to leave it empty. That's fine. We need a couple of days to level up too. Well, it, I wouldn't say Kebab Chef is very buggy. It's just sometimes there are a couple of bugs in there. Especially multiplayer though. But it is a very good game. I love it a lot. Lots of hours in there. They're very different, so I can't really tell you a preference. Let's see, those are extra fridge and the registers that face the other way. <laughs> Let's order. Now that I got that sorted. Last time I had the, the little bug where I picked up a box and I couldn't put it on the floor. Do I like cooking in real life? Uh, yes, though I haven't really spent as much time with it as I used to. I think, yeah, we just need the, the green toilet paper. That's it. Oh, wait. What did I have already? Aha. I already had that in there. Okay, so good thing I caught that. Um, There's already chicken in there, so let's start with the freezer then. Uh, two chicken. Yes, that, look, that looks good. Well, the rest we want to empty out, right? So, except the fries and that's full. So, set. The fridge. Hold on, it's hard to read when you're... A small sushi. And apple juice. Uh, yeah, white water. And we can check the sodas. One of the kitties next to me is snoring really loudly. I have with my headset on. I can't really tell which one it is. Ray is awake, so probably Max. Let me see, we need green and that is red. Yes. Um, oh, 
did I do the price changing today? I forgot I I was planning on doing everything double. Okay, hold on. Remove the soda. Does this fit? Yeah, that's ten. Okay, now the soda. Let me check though, did I I do wish we could look up the price changes. I probably did, yes, because that one's above three now. I eat uh, what did I eat? Oh, the cats. Yeah, they were delicious. They're emergency food, you know. <laughs> Play Roblox. Honestly, I tried the, um, the, the Lego one. The, the survival version. I think that was Roblox. Yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't like it. It was so popular, I thought I said I need to try it, but no, not my thing. No voice. Yeah, what's that? That was Fortnite. I'm sorry, I'm missing things. What the hell is Roblox then? <laughs> I'm, I'm messing things up now. I'm sorry. You're right. That's Fortnite. I can't believe I tried Fortnite. Well, this this is not correct. Where where the hell is this label? Hold on, I'm, I messed that up. Cause we have five. Oh no, I know. I accidentally bought too much. Hold on, and I couldn't put it on the floor. There. Okay, so we just need this blue one, and if I remember correctly, that's the galette. Yes. There you go. Okay, so steak and veal are being emptied out. That means we need ham. Really, this is... We have 60 of each. It's a lot. <laughs> when is the best time to hire two stock... Oh, hold on. Uh, Jordan has been a member for seven months. Thank you so much, Jordan. Thank you, thank you for your awesome support. Uh, gas station sim tidal wave. I probably will play that. I'll have to see, um, considering my request on the website was immediately denied. Uh, they're probably looking for bigger streamers, so I'll have to probably have to buy it. I'll see. Uh, yeah, I could. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, honestly, I think it saves like 10 bucks a day. But you're right, it would save money. I don't actually know how much it would cost. How much electricity... The ex electricity also depends on what time you turn the lights on. So it would have to be a very precise test. Actually, this one can go too. And we'll put them back when we unlock the new licenses. There we go. Oh my, they're <laughs> Edgar Skull. Edgar Skull. Ed I'm glad they're not reading that out. That would, no, actually, it would have been hilarious. Edgar has been a member for 42 months. Edgar Skull. Edgar Skull. Edgar Skull. <laughs> Thank you so much, Edgar, for the 42 months. You're awesome. What the hell was I doing? I forgot. <laughs> no. I'm ordering stuff. Right, I was trying to decide whether we should keep the delis, uh, if we should lower that. Let me check something. Are we gonna get anything that's similar in these licenses? Because this, 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 this looks like pretty much freezer stuff. This is booze. And this is pasta, 
sugar cane so sugar and well yeah dairies so we could definitely use the space for more cheese Gibbles has been a member for 14 months. Yes, thank you, Gibbles. That's, that's honestly the perfect way to get a question in. Uh, though you might, if, if you have a question, you may also always uh, ping me. The best time to hire the, the... The problem is that I don't know at which point you unlock them, right? I was already very far into the game the moment they were added into the game. Okay, so you require at least a storage, one storage rack, and store level two. Honestly, I would I would hire them as quickly as possible because <clears throat> it, it's such a big help for the for them to stock the store during the day. Because also you require a lot less stuff in the store, which means that basically you don't have so much money laying on the shelves. You can hire the second. I would just go for it because I hired my fourth one because they were pretty slow. Well, they're not really slow. It just takes a long time for them to stock everything. Dianto, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. I'm, I'm de debating what to do with the... Cause what I could also do is like... They're a bit of a lost babies at the moment, right? They don't really belong with anything. I mean, they could go with the meats. Are we... That's actually not a bad idea. Are we unlocking anything of another meat product anytime soon? That's a good one, actually. Because we have a shelf left over there. Um... No, this is... I think this is all freezer. I'm not sure if the green beans are going in the freezer. Probably will. Cheese cream. Yeah, I th I think they are. Okay, let's let's set that up. Um, yeah, they don't... They don't need all that space. Gotta make a spot for them. So the reason I gave everything so much space in the store was because it was handy. Uh, I didn't have to keep up. Oh no, no, no. Damn. Okay, this is the biggest downside of them. I forgot to remove the label. Uh, no, I, I removed it now. Stop that. Stop it. Go away. Damn it. Okay. It's okay. We have some extra space here. We'll just put it there. No, I removed the label this time. Stop that! <laughs> Do I really need to fire them? I need to be able to turn them off somehow. Okay, hold on. Um... Yeah, and there you go. And that's the problem. I can't put it on the floor. Okay, I can... No. No. Uh, well, the chicken is sorted, so I guess that's not a big problem. I, I don't have enough boxes to pick it up again and put it back in, uh, in storage. But I should really remember to empty the shelves. But as you can see, I couldn't. Yeah. And another option is to just empty the shelves. However, sometimes I did. Yeah, okay, the, 
deli meats are empty. That's good. Sometimes I have, well, often I have that I can't put stuff down. Which makes it tricky, because then you need to put it in storage or toss it, which is, of course, a big waste of plan. was on the shelf before like 16 I think I think they doubled it but weirdly enough not with the chicken <laughs> I'm so glad I I know you just you don't need to click anymore. Well, we'll just leave that one to empty or well, let them empty that box. It's fine. It's okay. Um Leave that to run empty. Just to be sure, remove those. Yeah, because that's a whole fridge, and we can use that to put more cheese in. I think that's a good idea. Okay, what if this. <laughs> Botheration. Well, it's just 13, it's fine. Um. This one. Uh, so not this one. Because we want that to empty out. Would 20 be enough? It's not a lot, is it? Honestly, considering we have... Like, that's 20 on one shelf, right? But this is... Uh, 16 on a whole a whole shelf so i guess it'll be on <laughs> i guess it'll be okay no i have no idea when they're planning to do more updates i don't even know what they're actually working on right now okay now that we got that sorted where were we here so we don't want to order anything so cheese we need mozzarella and comte. And... Well, we do need the hummus too. And that would be... Cleaning freezer and fridge, so all that's left then is the shelving. Okay, let's toss it in the shelves. So they can start their job. Grab the big boxes first. Otherwise we can't even walk inside. Can we nope. Not budging. You can move you can push one box, but I don't think you can push more than that. There's the sushi. What do you mean I can't throw here? Here, watch me. Oh, 
All right, so there's a bunch of things I'm not ordering right now simply because I'm letting them run low. Empty some shelves. That's gonna save us a lot of money. And the days are going faster now. I was actually debating, should I just... I don't think I'm quite there yet that I can hire the fourth cashier. But once I have that, I can... Uh, I can simply do this during the day while the store is open. It should be even faster. I did, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's good. Just checking there wasn't a shelf for that. Uh, Soda. Could just toss it on a bit. But I think this is all fridge stuff. Yep. Water, sushi. Yeah, literally only downside, I mean, other than maybe a little bug of the restockers is that they don't empty the boxes that are low, generally. You're supposed to go there, not there. Hmm. Well, we'll find out on its own if we lost something. Okay. That's set. Let's do the shelving. Hey, Michael. Um, I forgot to remove a zero tag. So I did. Thank you. I got him. Yeah, so the yogurt is also slowly going down. We're trying to get that to two shelves so that we can put the the butter on three. Because there's more yogurt on the shelf than butter. Yeah, normally I would say, okay, let me store that little bit of yogurt. But uh, if I do that and put it on a shelf, they'll... Uh, They'll toss it, they'll toss the box, and I'll be out of boxes. So I'll just do it this way. I do hope they add a, a way to buy boxes, empty boxes. Hey Connor! Hey Maju! Please do keep it in English. Um, I think that's... Oh, it's Indonesian, I do believe. Hey Alex! John, thank you very much for subscribing. Right. Shelf stuff. We need light coffee, milk, and green tea. Yeah, we really need... Do we need... Well, let's just order two, and it'll take a very long time until we need to order more. That's fine. It makes it easier to order. Oh yeah, I forgot the beer. Because we got all the all the cleaning stuff moved up. We got the milk. Okay, yeah, we still have one shelf too much for the beer kegs. Well, one block, I should say. I should keep the block, make it easier. Ma'am. I'm trying to game here. <laughs> it's a random playlist, so sometimes weird shit uh, comes by. Okay, I got the milk. <laughs> it's a good song, but I was just like, okay. What do we need here? Light brown sugar. And vodka. No, that's a good combo. That one is full. Cool. 
So, uh, except for the really big boxes, I order everything per two. So, as you can see, the big boxes actually have two slots, so I order those per two as well. But they just need more space. Toilet paper orders needed. Well, these, these two, I can order one at a time. Um, but I do that so that if the shelf may ever run low, they can put a full box in there. But there will still be extra to fill it up. If you order only one box, you might, you know, if, let's say the pasta has a fast day and you order only one box. They'll use that box and then the next day you order one box. But in the meantime, the shelf is running low. If you order two, you'll never have that problem. That's why I'm ordering like this. And I'll order again once the shelf is empty. Uh, we need all the jars. So that's honey. Peanut butter. And bread, I saw. I do wish they would remember this amount. Like, because uh, when you restart the game... It forgets it, what you said. We need honey cereal and pasta. So that makes it very useless to set it to two. Uh, that's our fridge. Two potatoes. And pepper. And oil, and I do believe it was the yellow oil, right? Yes. Okay, no. I have one extra box of, box of cereal here. It's not on the shelf, it's just pushed under it. Hello, can you fit on the shelf now? No. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna combine this so I can put the full box on there. I ordered double one day. Oh, wait, that's the wrong flower. <laughs> Sorry, I mixed up the... Oh, that gives me an extra box, so that's good. Oh, wait. I thought I just put that on the shelving. There must have been more in there than I thought. This is the red flower. You go up there. I mix them up. It's fine. The, the stalkers will sort it. Yeah, because they can put the other box there. Uh, yeah, then I have everything, right? I have two spots left over. Anything we might... That's not an empty shelf, but we just might order one box. Something running really low. I'll just add some toilet paper. Can never go wrong with extra toilet paper. Yeah. Come on, loads. Pass all the boxes. Hey, Dylan. <laughs> what is it, Chris? I see a big arm going up. Look. Wow. Wow, Nima. Did we try s like I'm tossing harder? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, no, sorry. Uh, this is uh, the last fridge stuff goes over here. Nope. Coffee. This one. Oh, I, I do, um, when I'm thinking. Yeah, that's also to fill up the silence a bit. <laughs> Basically, it's the show that I'm thinking because you guys can't see me. You should do make, need to make decisions in this game about how you set it up. And I... I prefer not to, uh, like, make too many changes. So if I change something, then not to go back, forth, back, forth. Hey, Steve. I'm doing good. I hope you all had a good weekend or having a good weekend. I mean... It's Sunday evening for me, but some of you might be in the middle of your your free Sunday. Got some breads and some booze. There you go. We're all set. <laughs> oh, that's oil. Yeah, Steve, time zones are weird. <laughs> Especially since half of the world changes their uh, to summertime at the beginning of March and the other half does it at the end of March, you know, to keep things easy. Hey, Dave, how you doing? 3.45 Edgar time? Yeah. Okay, there you go. I have to stretch. Oop. Right, because how are we doing on the, the fourth cashier? Let me just check that. We're at 17.14. Oh, we're very close. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you too. In we don't do anything with it here, but to everyone who celebrates. That cake looks a little low. And I can refill it, but I see what's happened. Every shelf misses either one or two cakes. So they haven't restocked it because it hasn't gone low enough. But if I do it, I can keep that box. Huh. It's funny, isn't it, that immediately the customers come in and immediately they're super busy.
We're almost up to 50 likes. Thank you all. You had corned beef, potatoes, and cabbage. Very fitting. Like Leek, I've never been to Ireland. It would honestly be a, a nice holiday. However, for us, the big upside is if we go somewhere with the car, you have so much more freedom than when you don't. Wow, YouTube in the middle of my son. <laughs> I don't know, can you go to Ireland with the car? Is there like a ferry? There might be. I know there's one to England. But it's at this time, it's probably more expensive than a flight. What should I get next? Product licenses, store expansions of store. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the storage expansion is more to go with how many items you have. I mean, do you need it? You get that one as long as you, you know, as you need. I've gone for the licenses over the space upgrades. Up to the point that I really couldn't fit more in the store. Because they're usually much cheaper. Yeah. Hey, Radiance. <coughs> Twin mirror game. Doesn't ring a bell. Um, I mean, either Mistress of Darkness. I mean, potatoes and cabbage is probably quite normal food in Ireland. I'm not sure if corned beef is that. Is that is that English? I don't know. Actually. I mean, it's eaten a lot of England in England, but... It's so weird to have these empty shelves here. It really, it's gotten me thousands of dollars of money I had lying about in the store doing nothing back into my account. So yeah, same here. I did the same with the chips. It's gonna give me a lot more space for future, uh... Yeah, I would like to keep two shelves though for all the items. It, it also just looks good. Though, as we unlock more booze, that beer probably is going to a lower shelf. Oh yeah, this can definitely be combined. Be right with you, ma'am. Mini, mini, this one, I think. There. Perfect. So we can now start ordering that again. Turn on light. Hey, Arif. You subscribed? Well, thank you very much. If you don't have a set on public, we won't get a notification, though. If that's what you're asking. Oh, yeah, we can type now. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> I automatically do it with my mouse. But yeah, we can type now. <laughs> Turn on my numpads. There we go. Much easier. I know, here we can't type. <laughs> I am on 
certain, Steve. We don't celebrate it here. It's really Irish. And the reason it's getting into the news so much is more because of the US, where a lot of people, you know, a lot of Irish descendants celebrate it. Then because of Ireland. <laughs> I do know there's a difference between an Irish breakfast and an English breakfast. But don't ask me what it is. Wow, she's doing the big shopping. Oh. Not that big. The British Isles. Yeah, that's that's quite a wide description, though. And the peanut butter. Go. Hey, Taha. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting to see how meat prices depend on simply the area. I don't know how it's or how it is now. I'll, I'll have to ask uh, Captain Kiwi, unless someone else can answer it. But it used to be that, well, over here, think something like chicken is extremely cheap, but lamb is generally quite expensive. However, in Australia, that's the other way around, because they have so many sheep. Oh, well, welcome, welcome. It, it is similar. I thought there was one big difference between the two. I'd have to look it up. Unfortunately, the game pauses when you tap out. So I can't look something up while they stock my store or something. It's probably beans. I feel like the Irish would say no to beans, but that could just be me. <laughs> I generally say no to beans. Yeah, Dave, if you want to know what it's from, you can type in exclamation mark music. You'll uh, get a link. Oh yeah, we can now put these in here. Uh, so I have two of the, the three of the new ones, Gibbles, that we just got, the reversed one, and this one is still the old one. I don't, do they have like another name? Left or right or something like that. They 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 couldn't just put the the other word under there, right? It had to be smaller. I can't read that. Uh, logic wise, it tells me it says check out counter reversed. No, I literally I can't read that. It's too small. But yeah, so I have three times this one, the reversed one, and one time. The normal one. Well, it's not better or worse. It's simply how you want to set up your store. Thanks, Rob. Oh, does it say mirrored? Thanks. I couldn't. I couldn't read it. Yes, yes, you can run with shift. I do that all the time. So that this is normal speed. And this is run. 
However, if you do that in the store, you bump into everything. So, hence me not doing it the whole time. <laughs> How are we doing over here? Uh, not, not, not empty enough to make it one half. I don't think. Oh, I think we can finally combine the, the veal. That one's empty too. Perfect. Empty? Yes. Okay, so we can finally order all the meats normally, except for the chicken, because the dams... Uh... Oh, you know what? I, I could, I'll could i sacrifice one box, since I have three of this one. But I have to be quick. There. Uh, I should have one box of veal. There you go. Okay, that's all set. How is the yogurt doing? That one is empty. Very good. That means the yogurt can go back in the shelf as well. And... There you go. That one is now butter. It's all coming together. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I'll do with that one. Depends a little bit on what we're getting in the next... Uh, how's, uh, how's our poll going? Ice cream and veggies is winning, so that means we're going to need to focus on getting freezers. But we need to get to level 56, though. We're not there yet. Well, I like keeping an eye on my own store. What I would like is if we had an easier way to put stuff in storage. Oh, did I did I mess you up, darling? I think I did. Well, let's see what happens when we end the day. <laughs> oh, only one complaint. That's good. Oh, right. I changed that, didn't I? Hold on. Let me check something. I forgot to test it. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, ch I changed my uh, buttons for screenshots. So now that I only have to click one button to get the whole screen. Instead of having to drag and drop. You have to save and exit the menu. Maybe. Yeah. But... I removed the label and only then. Okay, hold up. I have an idea. So we don't have to restart. Wait, why are you putting the whole box in? It was full. Oh my god, he put it in the butter thing. How the hell am I supposed to do the fix this now? How, why did he do this? Because I only, I I literally emptied it, removed the yogurt label, and then put a pack of butter in. Ah, uh, I don't know how to fix that. The last time I just tossed a whole bunch, but this is a lot. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I didn't didn't watch the price change at all. Forgot. Is it just olive oil? Probably this one. Um. Oh, 
the stupid thing is I was I was trying to be very careful with changing that label and he still filled it up with the wrong product and don't know why yeah but they're supposed to do that only when they're um no but he couldn't have walked already because i changed the label and then put the yogurt in or removed the label and then put the yogurt in so he shouldn't have walked with that at all it's so weird I can't, it's not yogurt anymore. I mean, that's what exactly what I was planning to do. Oh my God, that, this is driving me nuts. Cause now the only thing I can do is put it in there and run. I, I can't, it's not yogurt anymore. It's butter. That's the problem. I don't know if it's gonna sell. I mean, I can. If it just sells, it doesn't matter. We'll see how it goes. It's not a big problem. Both both are well stocked. I was trying to be so careful. That's really annoying. Okay. Was you, uh, was anyone see if the the olive oil was the only thing? That changed pricing. Oh, let me take a drink. We turn down the heater. It's warm here. There, that's better. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Reset that and then put it on cleaning. There you go. Uh, yeah, what do we need? The boom and the dark spray. There you go. We still need one purple and then we can add one bleach to keep it even. Dust all of all. Thank you, Jill. Sometimes I, I'm not watching it enough because I'm trying to decide other stuff. Chicken's good. Uh, yeah, freezer stuff. Let's uh, let's see. Where that's all emptying. We have more than enough fries. The chicken is good. Okay, we'll skip that then and go straight to the fridge. Okay, butter and eggs. Oh yeah, I get the small one too. Oh well, actually we don't need that yet. There. That's the eggs. Butter. Which cola is that? The red cola. That was weird. It didn't go in. Mm. Yeah, you can go in there now. We can order some steak. Yes. We need parmesan cheese. And that's it for the fridge. Yeah, so because he got stuck, I, it would have probably been better for me to restart the game. I'll remember that for next time. 
Because the reason he was stuck is because he was trying to put it in the wrong shelf, really. Some Something went wrong there. It's okay, we'll, we'll clean it up again. Uh, the problem is I only have one small box. That's the issue. And the game is now reading the products as butter instead of yogurt. So it's not like I can put it with the yogurt now. I'd have to throw it away. So let's see if they just buy it. I still have two shelves of each item, so it's not like it's a big problem. But yeah, I'm I am missing some basic options like turn off your your register right the one you're running yourself or send your stalkers on break so that you can fix some stuff in the store and you don't need to fire them would that solve it pied hey belly you have to make a ticket in storage you mean a label uh, just by putting the box on there, you determine the label. And by clicking on it when the shelf is empty, you can remove it again, if that's what you mean. You've become mobile today, Rob? Oh my goodness. Hey, Jean. Hey, Kiwi. Hey, Kiwi. We, um, I, we were just discussing something about, uh, like, meats in different countries. And I remember, and I'm talking about a long time ago, I remember there being this thing where in Australia, and I, I know you're from New Zealand, but you're the closest one I know. Um, in Australia, lamb was very cheap and chicken was very expensive. It was the other way around than here. Is that still the case? Do you know? I'm just curious. Watch him be gone now. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we got this. Pull up. We need the kegs now again. Because we were able to empty that shelf. Watching Nima from bed. Wow. Such luxury. Put the register in. Yeah, that works. But I have it set up as I want it. I don't want to move it about each time. Wait. The hell? Hold on, let me check the honey. Because I I ordered two boxes of honey yesterday. No, I think two would be fine to keep up with it, but clearly it was well empty. Or from the top, yeah, that works too. Uh, you had to reorganize, so you had to fire them all. But yeah, you do have the cost of rehiring them, so that's a bit of a problem. Okay, so it has changed then. You guys have a lot of chicken now. Here, actually, chicken was um, quite expensive when I was uh, very young, even before I was born. Um, not well, maybe not expensive, but not a lot of people ate chicken. Oh, you know what? Maybe it was considered poor food. That's also an option why people wouldn't eat a lot. Anyways, so what happened is that the the government started a big campaign. You know, when everyone still watched TV, every campaign that came by was something you know you saw it because. It was on TV. What else would you be doing in the evening? So, <laughs> uh, they made a slogan, a song for it. It it um, it, it means uh, chicken, the most versatile piece of meat. It, it was a song and like a little slogan, a, a jingle, jingle. That's the right word for it. Let me see. We need spaghetti and crispy. So. And then people started eating more chicken. And now it's one of the most common meats there is to eat. 
it's really funny how such a simple TV commercial can really change. Uh, we need one potato and mashed potato. Uh, Have fun, Edgar. Do send some pictures on the Discord. I would love to see the barbecue. I haven't barbecued in ages. Yeah, prices are weird currently. One of the big discussions at the moment is that... Uh, so, the Netherlands is one of the biggest food exporters in the world. Which, for such a small country, is very weird. But we have long had a big focus on farming farmers, uh, subsidies for farmers, farming technology, farming research. Um, you know, the heart of that, a lot of it is in the Netherlands. I don't remember which university it was. There's one that's completely focused on farming. Or mostly focused on farming, of course. It can't be completely. Um, but then the EU basically said, yeah, you guys need to cut down on pollution. And everyone started to blame the farmers for the pollution. I mean, we're just let us just ignore the enormous factories pumping out pollutants. No, no, no. We're going to blame the cows. So, <laughs> there's been big protests, but yeah, nothing really changed. So we're getting less and less farmers, as, as if that wasn't a problem already, you know, with the farmers' children not taking over their parents' companies, but going to the big cities. So meat, yeah, not just meat, but just, you know, veggies, food is getting more and more expensive. And... Uh, did I mess that up? No. I'm just sitting here wondering, like, what the hell is the rest of the world going to do if the Netherlands isn't exporting anymore? But uh, the EU don't care. Okay, fine. I guess the people who are determining those laws aren't going to be troubled by it, are they? They have enough money to buy food, so no one's starving, right? Right. Great. Oh, a bunch of bastards. They're basically determining a lot of things per per the amount of people, per the you know, per the amount of land. But Netherlands is a very weird country with a lot of people on a very small piece of land, so it doesn't always work out that great. Uh, dairy is very affordable. Yeah, here as well. Oh. Did I, did I miss those? I must have. Hold on. Okay, um, I have one spot left over in this order. Right, no, that stuff is in this order. That we want to keep empty. I don't know, put a box of eggs there. There. All full. So I'm trying not to take loans anymore at this point, really. Because it just costs money. You know, I should pay attention. I hope I don't forget whether we actually pay them a daily wage. Because we still don't pay, as, as far as I've seen at least, still don't pay the cashiers. Eat bugs, yeah, that's where we're heading. Shine. 
I, yeah, uh, th that was a little bit of a welcome to my TED talk with Nima. It's okay. It happens sometimes. You'll get used to it. Don't worry. Okay, yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. If it gets sold... I do need to keep a close eye on the on the freezers. Because all of these, I, the shelves are empty. I need to keep an eye on them. But they don't look and empty enough to combine. Kittens, how about you don't wrestle in my stuff? How about no? Yeah, go sit on that side. You can attack Max in the back. That sounds like fun to me. <laughs> uh, slots don't give much. Well, it depends on what you uh, put in. Plus, of course, there's a good chance to lose. Hey, Sasbe. Well, currently we're waiting until we hit level 56. So I want to do it in the order. So that's priority today. Get this corner out of here. We're going to move. At, at that point, I probably... Do I have to fire them at that point? I don't think so, as long as I don't move products. Mm, also, I, I might just... We'll see. But yeah, I can move all these shelves to the left. I'm gonna move all of them. Um, however, that means that this row can actually go against the wall. Like these ones. Maybe we can even double the Now we'll see. I'll move these fridges back. There's gonna be a double row of freezers here. And maybe a bit more space for the fridges. We'll see how much space we have left over at that point. Because uh, I can't see the under the bottom shelf of the fridges. <laughs> now, the thing is, though, that once I've got it set up, you don't really need to see the bottom shelf because my stalkers are taking care of it. But we'll see how it goes. But that's the basic plan for today. Let's see. 55, 1, 2, 3, 8... Yeah, so we'll be able to put more shelves against the wall there. We'll obviously be able to put more shelves there. And then we just... Whoop, move it all that away. <laughs> and then we have more space for freezers. Because I think that's still number one. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Rob, it's quiet on Twitch. They're behaving. Oh, he has a expensive batch there. I missed the dot. I hit a three instead. Uh, no, Joni. No, there's no way to buy game money with real money. I mean, you could you could cheat by adjusting i mean if you're really stuck or maybe well i wouldn't call it, yeah is it cheating a little bit but i wouldn't really call it cheating because it's a single player game so nobody cares but you could change your save file to give yourself more money and i can fully understand if someone uh, you know doesn't have a lot of time to game 
Maybe they have a full-time job and they have uh, like an hour, maybe two hours per day where they can uh, play a game. I can fully understand to just... <laughs> to just give yourself a million dollars and go ham in this game. It might actually be a fun thing to do sometime. A different safe game then, not, not this one. No, couldn't combine that. Nope, not empty yet. You know, just start a new game. Give yourself a, a couple of million and go crazy. Well, you, you'll need more than a couple of million. <laughs> Considering the biggest upgrades are a, a couple of tons. Um, well, give yourself 10 million dollars and see what you can do. That sounds fun. The downside... No, you can't, can you? I mean, yes, you can, but... Um, it's the leveling that's the problem. You need to be a certain level for a lot of things. Wouldn't even work, no. Well, you could change your level too. I mean, if you could change your money, certainly you could change your level. So make yourself level 100. Give yourself like a uh, hundred billion dollars and go crazy. It's, <laughs> and the money is just getting more and more now. You should be able to, Gibbles, but I don't know if you can do it... Uh, well, hold on. Let me let me check that real quick. Uh, give me this PC C drive. I don't know how the how the save game is set up, but either you need a save game, a site that can change your read your save game, you can change it and save it again. I've done. I've seen that before. I've done it. Too. Um, no, it's a text document. So I don't. The thing is, um. To know for sure i'd have to save the game know exactly how much money i have and then search for that number and then you can look for it oh wait i should have done okay. i don't know okay hold up because i should be able to check that i don't want well maybe someone in chat knows Yeah, you can, but uh, Kiwi, can you just write it? I see some text files, but I also see another type of save file. So I don't know where it's stored. Is it in the text files? Because then you can just change it. You just need to search for the amount of money you have and then change it. Oh, it is a text file. Yeah, so it opens a notepad and then you can just search. Yeah. Okay. I just wasn't sure which file it was in, but it's it's simply the text file. Then you can just change it. I don't think I'll be doing it with this game. Unless I get, unless it's like, okay, you need two weeks to get to the next step. Then we're going to add some money, but <laughs> it would be hella funny. Oh, there's a guide in the Discord. I must have been, I missed that then. But if it's just a text file, well, that's not uh, too hard. I would highly recommend, though, back it up. First, copy your whole save file. Put it somewhere in your desktop. I don't care. And then start changing stuff. So if anything goes... Oh, boy. Oh, well. Um, there you go. If we run out, we run out. That's the risk of changing stuff around the store. But yeah, then if something goes wrong, you can just put that back and try again. Yeah, I know, Spooner. What I didn't wasn't sure of is whether it was a text file or something you need to change on the website. But I back up my uh, my save game every time I start, just in case something goes wrong. And since I'm streaming it, I would never want to lose my save game. 
I lose a couple of hours, ah, so be it. But losing the whole thing, that's a lot of work. Yeah, the ice cream went fast. I think we'll be okay, though, because it's already nine. The sushi went fast, too. There were, keep in mind that the whole shelf was full and there was a box on the storage. Maybe there was like one in the box. Yeah, we definitely need to order four boxes of sushi. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because you can go, yeah. Five, even. Or have they simply not gotten to it yet? No, because this is the small one. So, let me see if we can combine some of the pizzas. That one, no. Okay. Oh, wrong box. No, not that one. This one, probably. Nope. Add a chicken? Yes. Okay. Well, we're getting there. The point is uh, to remember, though, which items we don't order and which ones we do. Alright, bye! Hey, Farhan! You, you're starting to doubt in the slots you should. The traitors. Oh, this is the save file, punt, uh, dot .es3. Can you open that one in a notepad? Really? Mm. I can test it out sometime. Okay, so nothing got sold off that shelf. Damn, that's annoying. Yeah. Yeah, it counts as butter. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's the problem. It all counts as butter now. And they're refilling. No, oh, wait, it does. They refilled it with butter, so it's selling. All right, then. Never mind. We'll just leave it empty. We'll just sell our... Wait. If that works... If you could do this on purpose... You could... What's the most... What's the cheapest item to buy? What? Probably like yogurt or something? That's less than a dollar. So probably... If you could do that on purpose, you could fill these shack stacks up with yogurt, but sell them like, uh, like lasagna or sell them like meat. You could make a lot of profit there. I'm not doing that, but it's clearly possible. Do we have some room for lasagna? We do. Uh, yeah, we can we can have ice cream again. Hold on, I need to check. Yep, I have that. Checking the label's gone. Uh, yeah, this is the red pizza that can go back. Cheese pizza.
And that's probably ice cream as well. Okay, the others still need to wait. Come on guys, get to it. Where's Bo P oh I've been following another um, he, he's Dutch but he streams in English as well which is actually what caught my interest he streams a lot of observation games I hadn't seen him before he but he has almost a million uh, subscribers actually um, and but uh, like horror observation games so you walk through a hallway you need to keep you know pay attention to the area I'll get to it why that reminded me of that in just a moment and then you walk through it again and something might have changed and usually it's something creepy but there was there, there's this new one where you walk through a taxidermy museum and there was Bo Peep with a bunch of sheep and then one time she was the anomaly <laughs> and um, well let me just say that uh, they ate lamb that night you know it's oh boy are you guys done? I think they're done. Okay, let's finish the day then. Only two complaints. I'm good with that. Uh, let me pay attention. Scallop, shampoo, and ice cream. So, scallop and shampoo. Scallops, scallops and shampoo. Oh, hiccup. Uh, four points. Forty? Oh, forty. And the shampoo is over here. Actually, we could... I'm being, I'm being silly, aren't they? They're not working, are they? You don't want to change things if they're working. No, they're good. I think if I just move the shelves, we'll be okay. As long as they're not working. You just don't want to change the, what's on there. Come on now. There you go. There, now all our cleaning stuff is together again. And you can wait here until we buy the space upgrades. Now, did I change the price? I did not. Uh, actually, no, that's uh, the five even. There you go. Tum -tum -tum -tum. need that many items do we so four thousand should probably be enough let's get that space upgrade i mean i don't need to fill up the fill it up with shelves right away oh i did forget to pay forgot to pay my bills yeah we'll be fine let's go the next one almost twenty five thousand. ouch There she blows. All right. Mm. I'm actually going to need shelves to fill that up, aren't I? And so it's not going to fit. At least four, really, to be able to make everything fit well. I'm thinking if we can make this bigger, but no, not really. That's gonna cost us. Because you're gonna go over there. We need two, we need six shelves. 
Well, well we can make do... Uh... Hold on. We're just gonna flop shelves about a bit. Uh, hold on. You stay there, cause I think if we put the, this as even as possible. It's a lot easier if you have the shelves ready already. What I could do is just play one. If I play one day, I can afford those shelves. Maybe that's easier to do. Yeah, I think that's wiser. It's not like I can buy the up uh, the licenses right now. Yeah, I just need like what what are we uh, the two thirds of a level to get those licenses. But I think it's so much easier if I buy the shelves first, than to to shuffle the shelves four times. So we're gonna do that. Let's start ordering. But I got my space upgrade. We're finally. Finally rid of that horrible corner there. <laughs> wow. Wow. You went... I just bought two of the you yesterday. Okay. No, it's, it's not empty. We need hand soap. And soap. And so I forgot already. One purple, two green. Yeah, we'll buy the shelves first, but I, I can't afford it right now because I just bought the space upgrade. <laughs> hey, Gibbles, is watching me at two streams, so it's considered stalking. Nah. You're good. Uh, yeah, we can just even it out to an even number. Add one of those. Oh, well, yeah, let's do the freezer first. Generally easier. Okay. We're emptying that. We're emptying that. We need three chickens. Well, there went our evening out. <laughs> evening it out, I mean. Two chickens. And one more chicken. Uh, yeah, that's it for the freezer. So, fridge. I should really just get this in the, in the storage so they can do their work while I order the next batch. The big boxes don't... Don't bop inside as nicely as the little ones do. <laughs> yes, we'll be able to get some new product soon. Probably today, even. Hello? Those are the cleaning items. Let's see what's what. There you go. Uh, yeah, we were at the fridge. Let's start here. Yogurt. Oh yeah, the big sushi. That suddenly everyone wanted sushi. So uh, let me see. It's it's four, right? Four per shelf. So that's 20. How much are here? Five. So we need 15 at a minimum. It's eight per box. 
So that's two boxes. Plus two on the shelf, just to be good with it. That should do. For the sushi. Right, we need beer. Almost missed that at the bottom there. One, two. Tuna. Did I get the yogurt? No. Well, to even it out, just get one. There's just 30 in the pack anyway. Bye, Wheelie. Good luck. And we're two away from 100 likes. Thanks, everyone. So close. Who's going to be number 100? Oh, right. I have uh, good news as well. I uh, Yesterday, I bought some game packs so i now have new games to give away for member giveaways i also set up um, a subscriber goal on twitch so that we can keep an eye on both the problem is i can't the uh, streamlabs doesn't allow me to keep a counter for both youtube subscribers uh, so, sorry youtube uh, members and twitch subscribers so i set it up this way this way that way both sides can earn giveaways. The giveaways will run for everyone. Uh, wow, the lasagna went fast. I just put a box in there yesterday. Oh, wait, we're maxed out. And uh, I also bought some, uh, some more familiar games, games most people will know for when I hit the 10k. We'll do some giveaways then, too. How did it go backwards? Uh, sometimes people don't like you asking for likes, even though that's literally the only way you can get anywhere on YouTube. I get it. I get it. It gets annoying. But without it, I'm... Yeah. YouTube doesn't work without interaction. And there's one. Reese's Gaming Paradise, thank you so much for following. Welcome, welcome. And now we got 110 likes. That's much better. Thank you, everyone. Than going backwards, I mean. That's, it's simply how YouTube works. If you don't ask for likes and subscribes, yeah, you're not getting anywhere. We need uh, the beef. Every interaction helps out any channel to get found on YouTube because YouTube needs to suggest you right to a lot of people basically YouTube needs to throw you in in lots of people's faces and then depending on how many people click on that they'll throw you in more people's faces and that's how you get views on YouTube that's literally how it works <laughs> Cobra, thank you so much for following. Uh, Twitch is very different. Twitch seems like um, a luck thing almost. Like people who just are curious drop in and decide they like you. <laughs> but if you, you know, unless someone scrolls down in the list of gamers or you stream something very rare that suddenly gets popular, Twitch is hard. YouTube is hard too, but in a very different way. That's what I meant to say. All right, we need the coffee and more beer. Coffee for Gibbles. Let's order extra because he's coming by. There you go. <laughs> Actually, it's not empty yet. Can't fit two in there. Okay, so we'll be okay with that. I got... Sometimes sometimes when I look like this, it looks like there's boxes on the shelf, but there's not. Big Pat, thank you very much for following. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, we need sugar. That's what I missed. Well, didn't miss. I didn't see it yet. 
Wow. Ah, yeah. Lasagna and beef. <laughs> this order is over thousands. I'm gonna need to watch the money. So we're, oh, we're already well into the last bit of ordering, so we'll be okay. Chocolate. Push comes to shove, we'll order one of some items instead of normal two. Oh, well, see, there's, that's just pasta, so that's nice and cheap. Last bit's always quite cheap. Uh, no, no, not you. Can I put you down? No, of course not. Uh, we'll be okay. Sometimes there's like, if you have three boxes and all of them have one potato in them, that's annoying. You're watching on YouTube, but you're saying hello in Twitch. Now that's, that's a way to get around. There you go. Sass Bay, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome, welcome. It means we're up two of the five now. You're having a break. Uh... Yeah, the, the Twitch has a followers button. Yeah, the, the naming is also annoying. <laughs> the, the fact Twitch deliberately na YouTube naming stuff together. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's quite different. I'm still getting the hang of Twitch. Jamika, thank you so much for following. Everybody to Team Floof. Okay, let's be uh, focused on the last bit of ordering here. Then we can chat while we run the store. Um, we need blue and red flower. And we need chips. And the rest is looking good. Uh, usually I order two boxes, but I think the chips are chip boxes are quite big. Yeah, we can make do with this one. Because that makes a complete order and then we don't have some leftovers. Perfect. Ooh, it's getting busy. Pinjata, thank you so much for subscribing. Moxie, thank you for following. Everybody going anywhere, everywhere. I mean, not anywhere. On, on a mid-time train to anywhere. There you go. It's such a journey. That, now, that's a band that I'd never heard of before I watched Glee as a teen. Or, well, teen. I, wasn't, I was quite a bit older, I think. Glee was such a weird series. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. So, yeah, I'll be uh, very likely streaming this again tomorrow, too. I mean, I'll be at it uh, here for a little bit longer. But uh, then Tuesday, I'm going actually to a concert. So I doubt there's going to be a stream then because I'll probably be very tired when I come home. It's one of those standing concerts. Only, uh, only, uh, only spots for standing up. And then Wednesday, I'm actually going to watch... Uh, the second dune. Well, that's gonna be fun. So, a little less streams than you guys are used to. Let the spice flow, exactly. Yeah, there's also um, an, a Dune MMO coming up. 
Uh, what's it called? Um, Dune, obviously, but what comes after it? You know what? This is. These shelves were so empty, I might as well just fill it up myself here real quick. There you go. Uh, wait, yeah, because then I have an extra box. Woo, box! Oh, that doesn't fit. Put it. Oh! Really? There's one in there? I guess I don't have an extra box. It's going on the shelf. Oh, wait. I need to remove that label. There you go. I didn't think of it to do it with the first box I had. It's okay. I have to. <laughs> what will you do without my streams? Yeah. It's hard times. I'll, I'll see if I'm like... Yeah, okay, so I've ordered too much of that. Must have milk miscalculated. If I come home and I'm like really pepped up, I can always do another stream, but... The chances of that happening... Well, not, not Tuesday. I already know that's not gonna happen on Tuesday, but... We'll see how it goes on Wednesday. No promises, but I'll be definitely be back after that. Sugar. Spice Wars. Yeah, that should be it. It looked great to watch the trailer for it. Trying to get a key. I know, I know I'm not super good at survival games, but I do enjoy them. Well, no, here's the thing. I'm not not good. I'm pretty good at survival games. However, I'm much slower than many other streamers. Because I'm so careful. You know, exploring a bit, setting up a base. In the meantime, they're fighting the boss. And dying ten times, but then winning, you know. It's much more exciting than what I do. <laughs> it's like storage wars, but different. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's not, you know, the war on drugs. It's war, comma, on drugs. That's Dune. Welcome. <laughs> oh boy, that was a bad one. <laughs> hey, Trent. Junkyard simulator. Now that's... That's been a while. I, th I should really try to go back to that one again because they had a bunch of updates. I did find it... Um, I played it right when it came out. I don't remember if I got early access to it. It was quite complicated. I don't know if they changed uh, things to make it clearer. Oh, you meant gas station simulator. That's a whole other story. Yes. Yeah, I, um, I really, really like Gas Station Simulator and I'm looking forward to the new DLC. I did not enjoy the airport update a lot. It was just... It got too busy. I wasn't able to do... A, like... So the thing is, in Gas Station Sim, just running the gas station is a lot of work. Because there's no optimization of your workers. Every time they go on break, you need to hand, you know, manually put them back to work, which is honestly one of my pet peeves, and I don't understand that they haven't changed that yet. For them to just go back to work as long as the working spot is free. But anyways, um, uh, what was I saying? So yeah, the, the airplane where you had to run across the map to get to the other side because an airplane was landing. And I never really got the use of it either. <laughs> hey Moxie! Usually watch your YouTube videos play Supermarket Along. Your game stopped working yesterday. Well, that sucks. Um, Moxie, thank you so much for subscribing on Twitch. Welcome, welcome. Um, 
were you able to uh, start a new game? I mean, you can back up your save game and then try it. So you can try getting that save game back. How we're doing on the count? Oh, I missed <laughs> four fifty sixty. Take off the labels. Oh, right. Thank you. Uh, it wasn't a big deal, though. Uh, I don't have anything in storage, but yes, I should definitely take off the labels. Oh no, he paid <laughs> he paid cash, I'm not paying attention. simulator yet it's uh it's definitely ready to go <laughs> you should get anti-wrinkle cream i have a feeling that's uh it would say it sell well i don't know why <laughs> oh. mic yeah let's see uh, how we're doing yeah so don't mind these too much they're moving over here i'm emptying out that fridge uh... Ooh. i'll hire him tomorrow should i i mean if i do that i have nothing to do anymore Taspay, thank you very much for following on twitch there Thank you. Um. Sorry, I'm just thinking that if I shorten this shelf and keep that one one shorter I could move things up again and put two here but this way well mirrored but that way I could still jump in when I'm bored Let's move things first and then decide. Because we could also do it here. That would actually be easier. I'm moving the, the freezer over here. Jeez, I have to call the manager for one pack of beef. Yeah. 
<laughs> the slot machine is broken. It will eat all your money. There's goats in there. I thought I ordered the Comte. Hmm. I guess it went really fast today. Oh, that sushi got kicked around. Hey, new box, who this? Finally. Oh yeah. No, no. It finally worked. Now you two can go in there. Perfect. Oh wow. <laughs> Lot of toilet paper got sold there. Did I forget to chink the drinks yesterday? Or maybe just coincidence that a lot of ran out, a lot of them. Okay, we're almost, we're getting closer to these being able to go away. Though if I can get some more of those size boxes, that would also be great. Then I could, then I can just take it off the shelf. There you go. Especially the ham is going really slow. Okay, now this one can go on the shelf. Hold, hold on, hold on, I'll be right with you. I didn't realize I had, I still had some, uh... Ah, shame. Oh, let me help those customers. I didn't hear a ding. Poor people waiting here for hours and hours after closing time. Not walking to a new register that are all open and completely empty. There you go. Yeah, they are probably already refilled all of this. That's the thing. Ah, one short. It's honestly a problem for me that they pass all the boxes. There's, there's, those are too full. We don't have anything. Ah, damn it! He just beat me to it. <laughs> well, it's too full anyway. Wait. Yeah, I think the shelves were s simply still too full. Oh, empty too. Well, I have four of that one, so we don't need to save that. Ah, 
Perfect. Got it. It's just, I startled YouTube so badly. Immediately stopped. Oh. Okay, this is a problem. I, I can't put it down. Okay. Drop and run. Let's do it. I think I got it. Just in time. <laughs> uh, if I don't, they'll grab that box immediately and start refilling the shelf that I just emptied. Okay, now you can go in the rack. Um, yeah, right. Can you go, uh... Yes, you can. Perfect. What do we have here? Is it just pizza? Oh. How are we doing on pizza? Really? <laughs> the one pizza there in the wrong shelf. There you go. Oh. No, no. God damn it, I can't. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> when do I learn? Remove the boxes. The problem is that often I can't. There you go. Okay. In this case, it's okay because I have so many. But now we have a box again. Uh, the problem is that I often can't put the boxes down. If I take them out of the shelves. That's why I tried to do it this way. But I was just, I, I, I accidentally clicked here. That was a shame. It's okay. I really don't want to fire them and rehire them. Every time I do something in the store. There needs to be a way for me to send them on break. Oh... <laughs> uh, Guess your box, guess your box, how about you? Okay, no, we're not low enough there. The yellow frustration. Yeah, th that's the thing, right? They are quite fast, which is nice. However, in this case, it was a bit frustrating. <laughs> No complaints. Well, we're going the right direction. Well, yeah, obviously it uh, didn't make much profit. Candy, eggs, and flour. Can so eggs and flour. Uh, let me see. I don't know which flour though. Oh, this one. Wow, big drop. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then the small X. Alrighty, that's set. We have enough money to buy some shelves. So how many do we need? Well, that depends a little bit on if we want to change things around. Let me try something. I mean, it's not the best location, but I can put a register there if I want to jump in. So we could just leave it like this. Could 
because there's absolutely no use for me anymore to do the register work, right? I can, if I get bored, I can do that, but I don't need to. Okay, so that means that we can just leave everything as long as it is. That's going against the wall, so that can one. Two, three. Plus four is seven shelves. Is what I need. And if that's too many, I'll just store them and use them in the future. It's not a big deal. They're only 200. Uh. Oh, it was on the Steam Deck, Moxie. Um. Yeah, and I, I don't have a Steam Deck, so I'm not really sure about uh, how that works. No, I didn't have 4K Profit. L it was less than that. I remember, I started out with 4K, so I had about 2500 in Profit. A little less, even. What is it like if you flipped the Ford register as the others? I didn't do that because then the people standing in line here would stand here. And people are already standing here. So I didn't want that to overlap. That's why I didn't flip it. I mean, store-wise, that it would work better, yes. Hey, Rose. All right. Uh... Let me recount so we don't order way too many and by mistake. So that's one. Oh, that's, that's five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, seven. Perfect. Um, let's fill up that order real quick with some, I don't know, some toilet paper. Because delivery costs and I need it all anyway. Okay. Oh, I fell already. I <laughs> tried to beat it to it. <laughs> Let's get that first. Well, you can't push two boxes. very empty no one box should do as long as I don't mess with what's on the shelves I don't really need to fire them going to be a whole empty aisle in the back. I'm just thinking maybe we should move the booze over there. Because that's what we're unlocking next, right? Well, not next, next, but in, you know. Yeah, people voted for the... Oh, yeah, let's get the bills. People definitely have voted for the ice cream and veggies. That's this one. Yeah, we need to get the level 56. And we need 12,500. Oh, God, that's way higher than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like 7,500. Wow. Well, okay, that's going to take a little bit longer, but we can prepare for it. So we definitely need more freezers, if it, even if I'm not placing them yet. Because leaving empty freezers out just costs money. 
we are getting a lot more boost and we're getting more boost in the future too right so it's gonna take a while Yeah, but that, that's level 90. Mm. This one is going to force us to shovel products, especially. Instead of moving products, we're just going to move some shelves. Come on, now I saw you. Hold on. Hands cramping. Thanks, Jean. Good night. Uh, no, Booze One doesn't have wine. It has beer and vodka. Just beer in different sizes. Oh god, not the sun. Okay, let's get this in here. I see you glitching green. And I can't get it on there. Come on. There you go. Got him. Not this one. Oh, no, wait, this was the boot. Well, put it to the side a bit. <clears throat> it gives us more space. Where am I going? This way. There you go. That's going to give us more space for more sugar and... Probably some other products in the future. There is going to be more coffee too. bit tight there because the it's not bumped in enough it might be a bit overkill i could have given us some more walking space but it's okay uh, we'll, oh wrong, wait i'm working the wrong way we'll get the more walking space once we get more space upgrades the shelves don't cost me daily money so i can just set that up and be prepared for any future additions to the store So really with me halving a lot of items, this is a little bit of overkill. I'm just doing it because it looks nice to have full shelves. Alright, now the real work. Move everything. I just woke up, 622. That's usually not even my bedtime. I am going to have to... Uh, Try to get to sleep a bit earlier though in the coming days. That's the concert we're going to from... Uh, it's LP by the way. Anyone was curious. Um, it's in Utrecht. And of course you want to eat something before. Is 
that one is a little farther back. But I think that's your fault, actually. Hold on. Oh, wait, I need to start on this side, otherwise it's not going to work out. Products make it hard to see where you're at. There you go. Oh, wait, I need to fold up the... There you go. Take a drink too. Hey, man. Hey, Sonic. I need more property. Well, I mean, if the game is going as it is right now, where we're getting more and more workers and more and more is uh, optimized, automated. I mean, I, I, got, I got optimized is stuck in my head, but that's not what I meant. Automated. Um. Then yeah, we're going to need more to do in the game. However, I do think that some things are a bit too expensive. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe, oh, maybe we'll get more customers now. That's a big gap between you two. You don't need to get that much to the left. I guess you do. Okay. Huh. Come on now. <laughs> it was too far forward, so I'm trying to get it even with the rest, but now I can't get it in again. Okay, hold on. That's better. Okay. Hold on. I need to stretch my hand. <laughs> Matt is telling me exactly what I've been planning to do. Thank you, Matt. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> I'm just... My hand is cramping because it's, it's very... You know, if you try to fit everything in exactly as it, sh as it might fit... I mean, I could have given myself a bit more space, but at least this way you know exactly that it's, you know, even. Yeah, you're way more backwards, and I think that's probably the fault of the other... the other shelf there. No. I so wish there was a click system in this in, in this game where you could simply, you know, click one shelf to the other. On the other hand, we, if that was the case, we'd probably be complaining about uh, not having the freedom to put things where they are. Why is there such a big gap in the middle there? There's no need for that. I, you know, there could be... It would be perfect is if you could... Uh, have three three building settings. One is this one, free build. Two is grid, where you at least have a grid, you know, to line things out. Especially for lamps, that would be perfect. 
and f uh, three would be uh, so two is then grid, and three would be uh, the one where things stick together. That would be perfect. Also, a different, um, and yeah, a separate. I'll see if they don't want to do that. A separate sen mouse sensitivity setting just for the placement. Because I have my sensitivity quite high because otherwise I need to turn my mouse over three times just to look backwards. But it's too high to place these, you know, without overshooting a lot. I can't see this way. Hold on. Okay, that's it. There you go. It's just that doing this turn is one swipe, two, so over the whole mouse mat, you know. But at least for the building, I can, uh, I can do it this way. Good night, Gibbles. Hack money in, sell everything for a dollar, and put Debbie on the register. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, note to self. Next time we're moving a lot of stuff about in the store, just turn down your sensitivity setting. Got it. Okay, this one was too far forward. That means this one is too... Almost had it. There. Nope. There you go. Okay, just this. And what would be even better is if you did could if you could indeed connect shelves together, just you know, click them together, you could move whole aisles. Now that would be fun. You know, just uh, turn on the setting, uh, move everything attached, and uh, go. Well, that's not right. It, it means every single shelf on that pile was a little bit too far to the left. So now the last one is sticking out really far. There you go. I've tried to explain that in uh, in Ranch and too. People are like, "Yeah, oh, well, you're way too precise with the shelves and everything." Yeah, but if you're not, if you're, if you know, one shelf is like one one take one degree off, the whole fence is gonna be, you know, every single one you add in, it's gonna add another tick. So if your first shelf is one tick off, then your second shelf is two ticks off, your third shelf, you know, etc. The same here because we're placing everything so finely together. And we do need this space, really. It's it's a bit tight, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. Okay, now you should be able to go over here.
And in the future, we'll be able to make bigger aisles, but that's actually just going to be harder. Oh. Uh, because you, we don't have a grid system. We just have the, the floor. Should I put the empty one in the corner there? Because we don't... Yeah, I should. Hold on. Uh, we're not getting more cleaning items real soon, so... Maybe we have overflow somewhere we could put... We could put that there, but at the very least put it in the back. There you go. Oh, too far. Get this one in the corner here. Okay, what can we do with this corner? Can you fit in there? Perfect. Hold on, I didn't get the back there. There you go. Now we can create some more space with the freezers. Um, well, self-scan uh, registers are coming, but I have no idea when. They're just... Uh, this is not OCD. This is fitting everything so we can... together so we can fit as much as possible in the store. That's all I'm doing. I think we should replace this one with half a fridge. To get that light bulb. I mean, it's... It's just a waste of space, you know? If you do that. Because I can still hit it. Hold on, I think you can put it backwards a little bit further. You know, we want that one to you. So here's here we're going to get more pizza. Um 
Where's the oh yeah, the ice cream. Oh no, wait, we should I just realized we're gonna get like a fast food and a healthy healthy aisle. We'll see how it goes when I order the products. If we want to move things around. But for now, this is good. There you go. Well, actually, we could move it all a bit this way, can't we? We want to move a whole... Yeah, because I don't... If we add two freezers here, surely we have enough space for everything. More than even. I'm going to fold this one up. Just until we need it. So it looks a bit weird now, but... But we have two freezers right here. Is that too much? It is a bit much, isn't it? Yeah, that looks good. This side. Can't see where one begins and one ends. There you go. The rest will sort out when we can actually get the products. Big store! And we're almost up to 150 likes. One freezer rotated. Uh, is, is that pretty much just... It's a little smaller. But yeah, it works. That does look better for now. Let's keep it like this until we can get uh, the new products. And then if needs must, I can place a register here to jump in. But for now, this is good. And we still have enough money to fill up the store without getting a loan. Uh, the only thing that's not correct here that I need to fix is this. Hold on. The beer landed in the middle of the soda. Uh, I would like to keep the order, so you're going up here. That means that you're going here. And then the beer. I mean, I had to debate whether to keep the, the booze together. Or the fridges together, but I think this just looks better. Okay, well, it's, it's not perfect, but this works great. Now we have a whole wall of soda over there. The only thing I'm really gonna have to sort out is when we get more dairy. It would probably look better with three fridges, wouldn't it? I'm not going to change that right now because it's fine, but you wouldn't have this overlap. I wish we had like a corner fridge or a corner shelf or something to fill up corners. 
Because since the walking spaces can't overlap, you can't set it up into a nice corner. Hey, Jessica. Glad you made it too. Uh, those two centimeters are gonna uh, can go die. Um, it's fine. <laughs> it's it's literally this little bit of more space, so I'm not gonna be changing the fridges for that. I can't measure out one centimeter, but it's not a big difference, and that looks pretty equal as well. Uh, so. How's it going with our... Uh, oh yeah, we can check our salmon. Great, finally. Let's do it. Perfect. Um, ba -bum. I missed, I moved away too soon. How are you doing, Auntie? Well, it's always been organized. Okay, I, I was able to go down a bunch of fridges, a bunch of freezers. We'll, we'll be filling up and replacing them again as soon as I unlock more stuff, but for now, we're just gonna, you know, put them away since I don't need them. This is all being combined into one fridge. How many fridges was that? Three. So three fridges into one. I think the drinks look great like that. How's this going? Yeah, that was a bit of a bit of an error. Okay, so we want to move the tuna to over there. No, I want to keep the fish together. I was thinking, like, if I put them there, I can put another fridge away, but I'm not that cheap. Besides, we're gonna need it soon again, anyway. Alright, the tuna. Do we have anything on the shelf? Okay, that's it. Save. Quit the menu. <laughs> Hold on. Because that should allow me to take the tuna out. Otherwise, we're going to get the same problem again. He's just going to come refill it. There we go. It is empty. For more stuff. Perfect. Uh, right, stat box. Put the tuna back in. And now we can start ordering salmon. Okay, was there anything we weren't ordering yet at this point? Because... The fridge is completely solved. That the dairy is good. How's the beer? The beer we moved. Right. No labels here, right? No. Just checking it. Look like it for a moment. That's gonna be the booze aisle, but it's it's only a start. <laughs> Well, Tantrum, I'm putting it as neatly as my patients can manage. I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> this store is looking awesome compared to yours, but you don't have the game. Well, yeah, that's not helping. Yeah, this is also how the freezers are stand in, you know, here, where I go to the stores. We just need more, but... 
to make that useful, we need more products. Um, have we combined... No, so th this is the only one. Right. The crab is the only thing we're not ordering yet. That means we can put the pizza back in. Um... There you go. Alrighty. I'm gonna start ordering. I don't think I can like fill everything up in one day, but we'll have to learn. I'll have to learn how to time it. Because I, I don't have a register to run right now, so I can just fill up the storage while they're working. However, I'm going to start before we open up. We need uh, cleaning spray and one of the both bleaches. Of both the bleaches, I mean. We need toilet paper of each. Okay, that's the cleaning stuff. Fridge. No, freezer first. Easier. I'm going to fill up this box. They're now going to grab those two boxes. I'm going to put you down. Yes. Okay, you grab that one. I'll grab this one. There. That combined the chicken. So we need two chicken. No crab sticks. Because we're leaving that to empty out a bit more. A security flu. Yeah, they are gonna, <clears throat> they are gonna add um, uh, shoplifters, and there is gonna be a form of security. But I'm not entirely sure yet how they're gonna do that. Oh, right. Of course, my hand is hurting. One moment. <laughs> I forgot to turn that back up. How many fridges can we fit here? Two? Uh, it can't really stick out more. Hold on. I'm, I'm, since we have fridges here anyway. I'm just going to see how it looks so I know what I can expect. It is going to stick out a little bit. Is that a real problem here? No. That's fine. I was thinking another option is to remove a fridge here. Basically turn it sideways again and sacrifice that space. So put three fridges like here in the middle. Honestly, so what I'm thinking is if I do that, right, if I put three fridges here, could I move this one and this one to the back? I think this looks better, though. Okay, let's uh, fold them up, ladies. Okay, I've got all my uh, empty stuff put away. There you go. But I, I think that fits fine. Oh, wait. I had you over here with the other fridges. Okay. So we're done with the freezer. Yes. Le fridge. Uh, I need a, a drink. Hold on. You guys uh, go, go have a chat with my stalkers. I'll be right back.
Too late, Kiwi. I'm already back. A flu for the bat. Uh, maybe it looks better, but I do like this this wall of drinks here in the back. <laughs> also, I'm not entirely sure that's gonna fit. Actually, I don't think so because three would be from here to here. Well, if we then don't move these, that could work. But you would have an empty corner, which looks weird. Yeah, we got that set now, right? Yes, so we can order salmon. Okay, what do we need? Really, now the, now the big sushi is... Yeah, now it barely sold at all. We had a run on it yes, uh, the day before yesterday. Okay, so we need small sushi. And the salmon. <clears throat> Apple juice. Apple juice is going much faster than the orange juice. That's interesting. Um, okay, so that's blue water and pink soda. Next. And pastries. We need all the all the cheese is gone. What happened to all the cheese? Okay, we need all the cheese, but I would like to get one extra for the comté. One two, one two, one two, one two three. Okay, what can we get to fill up this order? Did I order the chicken? I probably did. I forgot the dish soap. Oh, actually we're, we're done with the fridge with that. So I don't know if we can make it this time, but next time we'll definitely be able to get some uh, some licenses. Right now we need to work towards that level and get the money ready for it. Ooh, two more likes. For, oh, one more like for 150. Who's it gonna be? There we go. <laughs> oh, nope. Messed that up. That's supposed to be potato. So 
Pied Piper told me he had, what, how many was it? 27 shelves in here? How many do I have? Um, let's see, that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I can see how to get in 23, maybe 25. 27 though. I'm gonna have to sort out how where to put everything. Why am I going this way? <laughs> Force a habit, sorry. Really, they should have a break room in here, shouldn't they? Okay. There. Only have to fill one shelf. Uh, yeah, we're here. Good night, Steve. Can yeah, the store coming along nicely. I do think it would be funny to just try and you know do cheat modes and give myself unlimited money and space and all the upgrades. And just go ham with it. Why the break room? They don't need breaks. I just meant that they could stand there instead of in front of my store. That's all I meant. Is there just... Uh... They're scaring off the customers. Well, to be very honest, I have that sometimes when you like... What do you mean I can throw here? Here, look, look at me. Uh, did you come, I don't know, uh, a cafe or a restaurant or something like that? And you look at it, but there's a whole bunch of people just, you know, clearly people who work there. Oh, that's weird. What is this? Oh, that's also the company. Um, who are sitting outside, uh, just, you know, smoking and, and doing. And they are just relaxing. However, it's not very welcoming. What you want to see is customers. And if only staff is just waiting outside, yeah. It doesn't show your best, uh, your best side. Let's put it that way. Exactly, behind the store. That was also a thing, so when I lived, I still lived in the inner city in Amsterdam. Well, it was the edge of, but still. Um, we had a very small apartment on the fourth floor very tiny i started out there alone and then osaka moved in um he was able to get a job around the corner actually that was pretty funny at least his work had an office around the corner so he could move there it was actually perfect uh perfect setup but so what happened um right we have more pizza here can I put you on the shelf? 
Um, so there was... No, I can't. Uh, there was a pizzeria on the ground floor below us. Well, one to the side, but still, right below us. Um, we would call them and they would immediately know who was calling and they would say shawarma pizza and because we always got a shawarma pizza and one other pizza to share. <laughs> but when the weather was nice, you know, we had nowhere to sit. We didn't have a balcony or anything really to sit at. So we'd often sit down there and just catch some sun after work. So, um, you know, we you go upstairs, dump your stuff, grab a book, and well, we take a pillow with us because he had these re um, uh, the, well, hard chairs. What do you call them? Reed, reed, yeah, chairs. Yeah, I would love a pizza right now. <laughs> and to finish the story, um, so we'd often sit there, and you know, we didn't always eat there. We just all sometimes we just had a drink. It wasn't very busy, so they didn't mind. But when we did eat there, he would uh, offer us coffee and a free dessert. And he would love us to sit there longer just to have some customers to, you know, fill his terrace and show that people were there. And because that's how it works, right? If there's empty, how, how often do you go somewhere without pre-planning and enter to eat an empty restaurant in an empty restaurant? Wait, brown and pink sugar. If I see a completely empty restaurant around dinner time, I might so assumption is that it's either extremely expensive or it's bad. I don't remember if this beer can hold. If I can put two there. Uh, let's just try. Because I have more space too. I could move the, the the vodka up here and put more beer there if needs be. Oh, he was great. He sold the place because he simply didn't have enough time to spend with his family. And they changed the menu and they were, they were nice, but you know, they weren't as kind as he was. We really missed him. It's, isn't that weird how you don't really know someone and they become a part of your life? Um, the, the funniest thing we've ever seen was, so if you ever come to the Netherlands and you don't mind crowds too much, come on King's Day, because it's great, especially in Amsterdam. Well, other places are good too, but in Amsterdam, I'm always in Amsterdam because I really don't want to travel on King's Day. Uh, you don't want to, you don't really want to go with the train. It is so crowded. But we go to the inner city, but we go really early to get to the free market, as we call it. And the free market is simply that everyone, everyone is allowed to take up their shit from the attic and place it on the street to sell. You are supposed to clean it up afterwards, whatever you don't sell, that doesn't always happen, but it's a different story. So, but it's party. It's everyone's in party mood. You'll see people sitting there at 6 a.m. with a, a can of coffee and just, it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. However, ar at around noon one, it starts to get super crowded. And I'm talking like you're going, you're walking past, you know, along the canals. It's shovel time. It is completely full with people. And that's the time we go home. Yeah, 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 we we, uh, we actually, I have an orange t-shirt and I have orange bunny ears. I will wear them every damn year. It is super handy also because when Osaka has them too, so when we lose each other, we're very easy to find in the crowd. Because we're the only ones with orange bunny ears. <laughs> I haven't seen them since. Kirk, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, did we get everything? Yes, we did. So... Anyway, it's it's around 1 p.m. Um, you know, no no train, no trams or buses are driving to the inner city. It's, it's not possible. You're not allowed to drive there. You don't bike there. If you bike there, you're an idiot, right? You can take the main roads, but not where people are standing. People are walking in the streets. 
everything is filled with people. You know, either you stay at home or you walk, basically. <laughs> Unless you're in the outer ring, then it's less busy. I'm talking about the inner city, of course. <clears throat> so we, we walked home. And uh, we lived in the inner city then. And he was the guy from the pizzeria we were talking about, because that's where the story is heading, was standing outside with his grill in front of the door, which I mean, usually they just had the kitchen in the back. And he was going kebab, kebab. <laughs> that's why we had so much fun with kebab chefs when it started. And he was going kebab, kebab. <laughs> and we were like, you know what? We haven't eaten yet. So we sat down at, at the terrace and uh, had a whole bunch of kebabs. <laughs> it was great. Great ending to that day. But we were really sad when he sold the place for that reason, you know? That kind of stuff happening. Because the other one just... Yeah, it it was it just uh, the chef wasn't as good anymore. The the meat wasn't any good anymore. The pizzas were good, but not the you know the steaks. It happens. What do we need? Honey cereal. But that was fantastic because we just sat down, and. Uh, we just ate a whole bunch of uh, pita with kebabs, and uh, it was great. Oh yeah, you. There's a. The thing is, um, a lot of the videos hold a lot of just you know crowded places, so you miss a bit of the atmosphere in the morning. A lot of people who take videos don't know that you need to go at seven a.m. And maybe eight. Usually, it actually, the last couple of years, it is starting a bit later. But if you arrive at 10 in the morning, it's just not the same. You know, that's, it'll be a lot more crowded. It'll be busy. It was elbows, right? Yes. And then we need white rice. But it used to be that a lot of the... Because there's a lot of concerts going on uh, during King's Day. But you, it's become so crowded, you need tickets in advance. Plus, most of them have moved out of the inner city. It used to be all in the inner city, but that's... It got too bad. It got too dangerous. They moved it all to the outer, outer rim, basically. More spread out, but it's probably safer. It's just... You know, you miss the, the party mood a bit here and there. But if you walk to the inner city, there's a lot of cafes there. A lot of the cafes will have <clears throat> a whole beer set up outside. And then they'll have, maybe they'll have someone singing or they have a big sound system set up and all that stuff. So it is very cool. Is there something we could just use one of? Oh yeah, the dish soap. Because we only bought one earlier now we can add one to this order perfect all full up okay i think we can just open up because i don't need to run the till anymore almost forgot about that let's do the potatoes first big boxes I do miss Queen's Day, so you have to realize that it is the birthday of the king. So what actually, it's, it's a fun story. Um, if, let's see if I remember this correctly. Um, the grandmother of our current king, so the queen before our queen, uh, Juliana. Uh, her birthday was on the... Hold on, because now I'm mixing it up. Before I say something that's not correct, hold on. Yeah, so King's Day is the 27th. Uh, it used to be the 28th. That I remember now. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Close it and toss it. There you go. So, Queen Juliana had her birthday on the 28th of April. 
and when her daughter became queen her birthday is sometime in the winter so they said okay we're gonna keep queen's day as it was called then on the 27th as uh, 28th of of april however the king the current king his birthday is on the 27th so they moved it one day they moved it one day and it's a national holiday right everyone who's not working in like any kind of food service drink service is is free that's the day off i think the others just get paid more because it is a national holiday um so they moved it one day so every year we get what we call mistake tourists it sounds better in dutch but that's literally what we call them so what happens is that they it, it still happens right it's been years since it's 28 but they still tourists will arrive on the 28th of april ready to celebrate <laughs> king's day but king's day is already passed can you imagine would be such a bummer you come to the netherlands to celebrate you arrive you're all ready to go <laughs> and then you're a day too late also often see tourists heading home on the 27th you know you see them walking about with their with their suitcases like wow you didn't plan that right did you you try to get a cap in the inner city of amsterdam on the 28th of april good luck with that one good you'll literally have to move outside of the inner city to get because cars aren't allowed everything's blocked trams don't don't go buses don't go no no taxis the only thing that's driving is in emergency vehicles <laughs> but yeah it's a very festive day I guess I'll help a little bit with uh, stocking the shelves. Yeah, but unlike the, the NPCs, I don't know what's empty. <laughs> Oh, look, the problem solved itself. We no longer have yogurts. We don't forget to order yogurts. No, we have some. I'll grab that. really anything I can restock is there oh we can do some green tea no one else is doing that Wait. no that is the empty box okay empty your box we can put this in no that's a shame oh you know what they should do move the light well they can't can they well the moment you buy the storage the light switch should should, should be over here Oh no, because then you can't put a shelf there. Well, how about over here? Once you unlock the door, the light switch should just move over here. It's not in the way for anything then. Here it's just horribly in the way. I do wish it would just go a little bit to the right. 
would be such a big help. Look at all the space! <laughs> oh yeah, I could have moved uh, the still a bit backwards. I'll do that uh, when the last customers have gone. Are we low on ice cream? Did I forget to order that? I might have. Or it just ran out. That's also an option. The problem is that you can't really see... You know, you can't really tell when something is empty. Because someone might be walking with the box. Like the hummus. I don't think anyone's walking with a box of hummus, though. I see we have... Those, those I happen to know were very low. So we can order those. Anyone working in the cleaning aisle? Yeah, but he's he's refilling toilet paper. So we can order bleach and cleaning stuff. Oh. There was one letter in the search. Okay. Oh, of course, it's it's already after nine. I didn't realize. That's okay. I'll sort it in the morning. Echo, echo, echo. I'll do the Jake on the freezer. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the Irish Jake for St. Patrick's Day. Her hair is still not fixed. Trying to see if we can get a good shot from a, of a good angle for a shot. This would honestly be perfect. If we move him backwards a little bit. Yeah, they are a lot slower, aren't they? But I think this is the last customer. Did I pay my bills today? Let's check that instead. I did. Very good, Nima. Tap myself in the back there. Oh, light! Right. We have. Well, actually, we just we have enough light here. Well, no, we're missing a light. Put more lights in the storage room. It doesn't really help. I have four in here. It's because we're lower. We're farther away from the light. That's. It doesn't get as bright as in here for some reason. Even when you're right under a lamp. I am spending more time here. Maybe we should. I will. Yeah, we need one lamp over here. That'll solve that issue. I could put these lamps right above here, actually. Hold on, it's really hard to see if you line it up properly. One above each aisle, though, is a lot. Let 
The problem is that your character turns when you move the lamp. It makes it near impossible to align it properly. Better. Was never easy growing up. About time I read a book. That's gonna be tricky, get that one above there. But I think this layout is uh this this spreading is good. We just need one more in the back there. Okay guys, we're ready to go. Nope. These are still refilling. That's okay, they can do it in the morning when I'm busy. Cake, sugar, shampoo, and tea. Well, I'm gonna need to write that down. Um, cake, sugar, tea, and I already forgot the fourth one. Botheration. <laughs> oh, it's the same. Let me see. It was green tea. Oh, that's not right. It's a six. Shampoo. Thank you. I'll do it right now. This way. I moved it. Um, that's uh, 40 cents. So that's six, ten. And then we have the cake and the sugar. I don't remember which sugar, though. Wait, that's the same one. Is it this one? Yeah, it must be, because it's now 6.20. Unless I made a mistake somewhere. Nope. And this one? Nope, that's good. Okay, that got the right one. Cake? Well, that's only two. Um, no, it looks like both of them are uh, still the proper price. Sometimes it changes so little. No, actually, this is uh, this one should be twenty cents up, so it's four sixty now. There you go. Okay, got him. Thanks. I'll, oh, I love hello, hello. Listen very carefully. I will say there's only one, but then in a good French accent. Or the the German with this my little tank. Have you seen my little Panzer tank? <laughs> it was great. Yeah, they couldn't make that nowadays. That would be just they would. <laughs> they made a spoof on the on the Yahtzees and uh, <clears throat> it was, yeah. I'm not risking that word. Please don't type it out. It'll have, it'll have to be deleted. <laughs> okay, well, we did have some orders here we can just put in. So we need, like, well, let's do three lamps. That should do. But yeah, that, but that was great. Because they made such fools of them. They had such good series on uh, on BBC. Uh, hello, hello. Are you being served? Was also a good one. Which would um, made a huge joke about uh, a warehouse. It was a clothing s s the clothing floor of a warehouse. Oh my goodness.
because you know it was quite old-fashioned but uh, I think that was I mean they didn't say it out loud but that was probably one of the the first times that uh, a gay man was actually openly in a show I don't know though that might be might be wrong but it was certainly early for that But there were more shows like that, I just can't... Why are you so weirdly open? There. Uh, no, cl close, and now go in. There you go. That was weird, it was like standing a little bit open. Uh, speaking of shampoo... So we need uh, cleaner? Or did I already have that? No, cleaner. Shampoo. No, toilet paper is looking good, actually. Can I put you in the shelf now? No, no one's buying pizza anymore. Sniff. Right. Aha! Ta-da! Finally. That means you can go onto the shelf. There you go. We need three chickens. I'll just order one of the crab sticks too, then the order is full. Alright, let's get the um well actually where do we want to move these lamps? Let me see here. Oh that's that's right. <laughs> They're so high up that I can barely move them. Oh, I didn't have it. For the store for the corner there okay that's going right above this shelf and then now let's see if we can because i can't see if i'm above the shelf right well it's not it's not per I can't see it all. Hold on. Honestly, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I think if I move it, I just make it worse. I think that's fine. It doesn't need to line up perfectly here. Because it's going to give us a little bit more light here. Okay, there you go. Got everything lit up. Yeah, Lara, right. Let's put this in storage. We can do the fridge and the shelving. There. <laughs> Cutting a path to the boxes. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we're already going up again in money, so that's good. Lit up like a Christmas tree, exactly. That's what we want. Yeah, the fries will be good for a day. Let's see, what do we need here? Um, okay, so green and black soda. Black goo, there you go. I'll just do two each, there you go. Do you have Missy like in a strangling grip just to wash her? Or is she dead? Okay, no, she's fine. <laughs> I'm checking. He had her in such a weird grip though. Oh, now they're gonna battle. No, move off, both of you. You're being annoying. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> I think Mitzi was asleep. <laughs> She's looking at me like I killed her mom. <laughs> oh, they do it all the time. The problem is that once one of them starts washing, the other one tries to do the same, thus tries to, you know, and um, then they start a battle about who's allowed to wash who. What also happens a lot, and what I tried to stop, and I haven't been able to stop it yet, is Missy gnawing off um, Max's eyebrows. Now, keep in mind, these are completely, you know, it's like hair. It, it, they use it to like get feedback from an area and you know not to bump into things but the thing itself is not sensitive at all i'm saying this because there are apparently people out there who think whiskers are actual a piece of the cat that can get hurt they, they don't just to be clear there uh, but yeah she gnaws them off she has done it since they were small i've tried to make her stop i can't she did you know she does it during the night she does it where i don't see her so <laughs> it's not much I can do about it. It doesn't hurt him at all. He's not bald or anything. It's just, you know, he, he's supposed to have uh, sprigs along above his eyes and he doesn't. I don't think he has a lot of whiskers either. No, he does. Okay, she doesn't touch the whiskers. You're a weird kitty. You both are. They're brother and sister, so, you know, they have their weird habits together. And I already had them when we got them. Um, actually, leave the keg be for a moment. I think the most things we can... We ordered two off. That would mess us up. We have one space left over. We can add that. We need uh, light brown and powdered and pink. Really? Pink? I just ordered that. And the two baggies, there you go. Pretty cats, yes. One day Max wakes up gutless, no. <laughs> now, I don't remember what it was. There was a video I saw one time where something happens to the cat's whiskers. Oh, right, it's... it's the Dutch spelling is vodka. It's, in, in English, it's vodka. It's, it's weird. Anyway, I saw a video and uh, I don't remember quite what happened to the cat's whiskers, but they were off. I think the cat was like smelling a candle and they just caught fire or something. <laughs> it happens. Uh, yeah, let's just open the store, I guess. And people were like, oh, the, the cat, the, the uh, animal abuse, this, and the poor cat is suffering. And and I'm reading that like, wait, wait, you guys seriously don't know it's, it's just like hair? <laughs> I mean, is it good? No, but it's not 
it's not hurting them. They, they, they just grow back. They lose them on occasion. We actually, when we find a whisker hair, we save them up and we have a couple set up on the, on the stuffy. Just, you know, poked in there. <laughs> well, it's Missy who does it. But Max just lets her. <laughs> You're a weird set. Yes, you are. You're not fluffy, you're fat. No. Missy is a very weird shape. But round is a shape, right? Yes, okay. She lost a ton of weight when she came over here. It was... Um, like, it's one of those times when you know that people mean well, but... Um, once... Oh wait, this is sugar. Once we got them home... We realized that actually Missy's fur was extremely greasy and she was like, you know, her insides weren't all too happy and it was silent but deadly. You know, it was great. She was just cuddling her in a pfft. <laughs> and it would be like, Jesus Christ. Um, so the, the woman we, we bought them from, uh, they gave, she gave us a bunch of the food that they were used to. Because, you know, that's usually what you do. You take some of the old food so you can slowly progress them to different foods so they can get used to it so that everything is different in one day. Uh, however, we switched them immediately to the food we had bought and, and the food Freya was eating as well. Hence, it was, of course, much easier for us. Um, but yeah, Missy was, Missy was just not doing well on that food at all. The poor baby. She was greasy with greasy fur. She was fat. Too, well, over, she was a bit overweight. Let me put it that way. She was not that fat. Um, and she smelled and her, you know. So we switched into other food and in, in a week it was such a huge difference. She has no problems now. Her fur is completely soft and smooth as it should be. We didn't give her a bath or anything either. We, uh, you know, if something is traumatizing, it's that when you come to a new home and have to give a bath. Generally, cats don't need baths anyway. I am now the warehouse manager. Yes, I am. Indeed. I, I washed the cat once. Well, I mean, outside of, you know, the backside with little accidents. Um, it was Sophie. Well, she's not with us here anymore, but Sophie, um, well, as a little kitten, had uh, jumped into the toilet just as I stood up. Yeah, um, I, I grabbed her out of it and I, this, I had a very small house at the time, so the toilet was in the bathroom with the shower. I turned on the shower and I gave her a good wash. <laughs> but. I don't think anyone here can blame me for that one. <laughs> uh oh, that poor baby. She got she got to be pretty old. Rice. Right, I should have maybe made sure I had everything ordered before we uh We need all the flour and yellow chips. I think we'll be okay though, because we have all the potatoes. We need hot sauce and green oil. Of course, now we have two left over. Well, we'll see how it goes. Is it an emergency? Let me check. Uh, this one. No, we're, we're fine. I can uh, keep on filling the shelves. <laughs> well, I guess if a cat goes outside and, you know, rolls in disgusting smelling stuff, I can certainly understand giving them a little bath. You know what works well? Because you have like... Uh... Oh, hey, Chris. Sorry about that, buddy. I didn't see you there. I was yapping on about my cats again. Um, 
so there's special cat shampoos and everything, but what generally works well in, at least as far as I know, if anyone has information that says differently, do tell me, is a baby shampoo. Because there's no soap in baby shampoo. It's extremely mild. So generally that works for pets too, what I've know. And it costs a lot less than the special cat soap. Cat shampoo. Okay, let's see if this makes a difference. A little bit. But it's still not as bright as in here. But it is better. Uh, let me see. Yeah, can you go over here? In the meantime... Oh, well, if I want to get that... Nah, the hot sauce can wait till tomorrow. I don't think it's a... It has to happen now thing. But yeah, I should have opened up a little bit later, I think. Because now we're working in the evening again. Blue flower. Blue flavor. God, that's such a good skit. On blue flavor. You mean raspberry? No, blue flavor. <laughs> well, we actually hold on to that joke too whenever we want, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, what makes your clothes soft? The blue flavor. Because <laughs> I generally prefer things that smell like blue. Uh, senior flu seem like uh, human seniors. <laughs> yeah, this this uh, fabric softener. Thank you, Eric. Yes. Yeah, it it does help. I didn't think it would because the the four lights didn't help that much with the light, honestly. But just two more made it more more even. I think this is enough, though. Uh, speaking of lights, I don't think I paid my bills yet today. It did go down because I removed all those fridges and free, uh, freezers. But it's like, how much was it before? 230 maybe? I think it does, it's probably about 20. Between the 20 and the 30 bucks per day it saves. So while in the beginning that's great, here, eh, it's okay. Oh, fleas. Yeah, of course. Then you need to wash them. I often see, uh, like, uh, kitten rescues will, as long as they're old enough, will wash them with dish soap. Not the head, just the body. To get rid of fleas. But yeah, they need to be healthy and uh, old enough, of course. Hey, pigs. Yeah, because baby shampoo doesn't have soap in it, like normal shampoo does. <clears throat> Nor any other harsh materials, so if you need to wash your pets, because, you know, he pooped on himself or something like that, it happens. That generally works fine. While specialized cat shampoos and dog shampoos and... It's all super... Super expensive. Of course, you can always take, like... A little skin on the paw and do a little test that's what you do with humans if you buy a new product and you might be sensitive to it you can you know test a little bit on the top of the hand or you know on, uh, on your elbow or something like that of course with cats and, and dogs you don't want to test on the paw because they need to actually walk on that. <laughs> but you guys get it. Okay, how are we doing here? Do we have any more coffee? Nope, we're out. Oh, 
I would absolutely love to finish one of these boxes because I would love to have some more small boxes. Oh man, it's one in there. Oh, and I can't put it down either. We'll, we'll try. What about the eggs, maybe? Ah, beat you to it, bastard. Oh, no, they're still, they're still in here. He beat me to it. Hold on, how much is in that box? Ah. <laughs> I'll force it. There you go. Okay, now we have two again. That's much better. I'm trying to save up some of the empty boxes. Hey, crew! My day was good. How many days could I run the store? Well, I mean, practically you could run it endlessly, however you would go broke. Um, so you mean with what I have in store? I don't know. I mean, but we'd get a lot of complaints, I guess. Ooh, we reached level 56. Okay, so we need monies. Because then the next licenses are twelve and a half thousand dollars. Moderations. Oh, hold on. Eyes are getting a little blurry. Pharmacy still doesn't have my eye drops. They had a, a problem with uh, delivery. It means it's not available. And I can't use another one, because I'm allergic. Eyes are stupid. They really are. Because the eyes are the only part of your body that are completely separated from your body. If your immune system ever gets to your eyes, you will lose them. Okay, everybody ready? Good, let's go. That damn time. Oh, two complaints. No problem with that. Cleaner, chicken legs and yogurts. Uh, 20 cents, so that's 40. Yogurt? I know that one. Right, we were going to get this one with 10 cents, because we were getting complaints about it. Uh, the yogurt and the butter are the cheapest items in the store, so I put those on 10 cents above market price. Um, there was a cleaner? I don't know which one. This one. What was the last one? Anyone remember? Yeah, I've did, I ordered them. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not getting a loan. It would cost me way too much money. Besides, even with a loan, I wouldn't make it. Oh, it was the last one. I don't remember. Oh, the rations. Yeah, we got that cleaner. Hold on, check the freezer. The fridge was just the yogurt, me thinks. No, there was a fourth one. I'm quite sure it was a fourth one. Chicken. Or did I change that one? Um, no, I did. 
No, I did the chicken, the cleaner, and the yogurt, and there was another one. I'm quite sure. Now, I could be wrong, because I, I forgot about it, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm messing up. I thought for sure there was another one I was trying to remember. I must be mistaken. I thought it was there was one more. Wait, wh what do I want? Oh, you can get a loan. Yeah, no. Especially at this point, we're or, we're earning money quite fast. That's just the way the money. I mean, if I can buy an upgrade and then realize I'm a little bit short to fill the store, or in this case, the storage. Uh, I can get like 750 that board barely cost extra uh. well sometimes the giving just fails of the sheep and sometimes it's uh, it's stream labs who can't find you it happens with some people. This, there's no real rhyme or reason to it either. Um, I, when I first realized that this stupid st st door was blocking a fridge, I honestly said, why didn't they just put it here? Just, you know, from, from here to there. It wouldn't be in the way. It would look fine. It's... <laughs> I guess because they didn't want to have this entrance. Or just disappear the door. <laughs> no, no, no. We're, we're ordering everything, Simon. No worries. Exactly, Kiwi. That, that... So first, when this door was closed, I had a fridge here. And then I made a mistake to move it, and then I couldn't put it back, because this door was folded out. Before, it was actually inside the fridge. As long as you don't touch the fridge, then it's fine. But you can't put it back again. Alrighty, what shall we start with? Cleaning items generally easy. Okay, some blue spray. And these two I always order by one. Is no one using toilet paper anymore? Because this is the second day that I don't have to buy any. <laughs> really weird how that goes up and down. Because you'll see you'll, sometimes you have one day that the whole storage is empty. Alright, freezer stuff. We definitely need fries, but we're good on the chicken. That's it, that's it. Yeah. I don't have anything over there anymore. No. Okay, this time we need the green beer. Uh, large eggs and that that's it for that shelf okay then that's, that's not really a good thing because it generally means that we're going to have to order a lot tomorrow but we'll just deal with it then yeah still full here meats all good nope cheese all good too we don't have a whole lot of mimolettes, but I think we'll be fine. <coughs> Dalton, thank you very much for following. Welcome, welcome. Well, since we're all... Jesus, this is it. Plus two other boxes for the, for the fridge, the freezer, and the cleaning aisle. It's gonna be a really cheap day. Means we're gonna have to order a lot tomorrow. You already know what time it is. Ah, 
alley-oop. Grab that one. I guess that, no. That one must have been from yesterday. I must have forgotten it. Where am I? Here I am. There's the other beer. <laughs> Max is snoring. It's always funny. Got some fries. And there is the hot sauce we ordered yesterday, actually, but we're too late with. Uh, no, not too late. We didn't. I didn't want to put a whole order in for just two boxes, actually. All right, shelf. Let's get at least somewhat on the way, and then we'll. Uh, yeah, because we need. I'm gonna need to start order. No, I can't fit more than two boxes of milk in there. If that shelf is already empty after I was ordered. Okay, we need three boxes of milk because they're gonna put in a whole box there. All the coffee, right? Yes. Was there something we could use one off? I'm un uneven again. Oh, that's that's all good. Throwing some hand soap, I guess. Okay, so I have the the dark roast and the medium roast, so now we need the light roast. There you go. Um, wait, how are we doing with the kegs? Uh, right, so they're in the back now. Now that's pretty much full, so two boxes should be enough. Just checking, because I changed some of the bigger items to less space, making sure that they're not slowly running out, because I'm ordering too little. Um... Brown sugar, candy, and honey. Oh. Yep. Okay, what over here? Didn't we have? Yes, we do. No, that's pizza. Oh, good. That one can go in the shelf now. Perfect. Okay, we need uh, chocolate and crispy cereal. Oh, there's the chocolate. Now we need the crispy. Normal pasta. Boop, boop. Pretty good on potatoes. It's, there's only one in those boxes, but it'll be okay. So we need mashed potato. And oil. And the last ones were the mayo. And the ketchup. Are we very low on those items? No. Okay, so that can wait. Okay, let me at least get started on this before we open the store. Actually, it's not that much, is it? Nah. Let's just open up. There you go. Just 
get boxes out of the way. They can get to work too. Oh, itchy eye. Oh, there we go. Hey, exquisite. I'm good, thank you. Sorry, I saw you. My eyes are acting up a bit. <laughs> I had my glasses up for a moment. I see you. <clears throat> it's always floof time. That's true. That's what we say too. Every time is Freya time. She'll let you know. Catch! <laughs> Someone said coffee? Yeah, we just... Uh, we're filling up all the coffee, Rose. Uh, pepper? I thought the pepper was good. I'll check. Hold on. Need to get a better angle. Just you can see that one. It bounced off the <laughs> the fence there. Oh, he called me madam. <laughs> so fancy, Rob. Boop boop. Yeah, yeah, I got the oil edge. I uh, don't, I don't think I ordered pepper. No, they're still up up there. And off the last day, we'll probably need to order it tomorrow. Yeah, keeping the stalkers busy. Sugar. More sugar. Wrong aisle. There you go. gonna toss them a little further that's oil potatoes coffee this one just goes over here milk soap and candy I wonder if they were able to put a whole box in for the for the coffee. Mm, yeah, okay, but we're fine. There's a whole box on the shelf there. Miss anything? Okay, he grabbed the other chicken. Uh, that means we need three chickens. That suddenly went really fast. How about the potatoes? They grabbed the fullest box instead of emptying. Uh, well, 
Oh yeah, of course. Just grab one. And they'll use the other box to fill it up. There you go. Means we can order two potatoes. And we have one more spot left open. Something running really low. That's not soda. Oh, the sushi. There you go. First, some light. There, that sorts that out. Oh, I missed. Make sure I don't put it in the wrong spot there. He immediately stole my chicken again. Ketchup, mayo, more ketchup then. All right, that's filled up too. So really the only downside of doing it this way where I open earlier and let the day run while I stock the storage is that my workers are um, working late basically. No. It looked emptier than it was. The workers can sue me? No, they can't. They can't do anything. They can't even sit down. <laughs> oh, there was an old message. Okay. It's wine o'clock somewhere. Yes, absolutely. What does your manager do? And she dances on the freezers, ma'am. You still want me to call her? Yeah. <laughs> very low on the little eggies. Means they're probably short out. Nope. We actually have some. Okay, no, not a full box of space then. That's perfect. We can have another little boxy. Sue Nima, new meat for sale. Yeah, if they sue me, they're going in the butcher shelf. There you go. <laughs> Look at them working hard. They know exactly what's up. So much space for activities. Yeah, I was just wondering if that needed to refill, be real filled. Running out of cheese again. Really, I barely had to order anything this day. So we're probably going to have to order a shit ton <laughs> in the coming day. Let me pay these. Almost forgot. And I keep forgetting to check if we actually pay any of the workers in the morning. Now, I like to do my orders in order, because that way I can't forget anything. Once they start working, it's really hard to see, you know, how much you have. Because 
you might think you have a little, but maybe they're carrying a box with 30 of it, you know? Enjoy all the smoke breaks? Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't let them go home to sleep, you know? That's the downside. <laughs> so I have four people running around with boxes and it makes it really hard to determine how much you have. When they're busy. Waiting on that customer over there. Oh, I... Kiwi, there should be a notification in the, red, the right top corner that they're getting paid. But so far, before we had the stalker update, we never paid the cashiers. Uh, it would appear, it would say paid so much, but the money amount wouldn't change. Nor is there a spot on the end of day report for wages. At least I'll check in a moment. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, three com- Oh uh, man, the, the space upgrade didn't give us more customers. Uh, the, I was really hoping it would. You voted for more booze. I think the ice cream is gonna win, Tony. Yep. Though so really things that go without the freezer or the fridge would be better to do first. <laughs> because the, the, the shelves don't cost their daily money. Um, no, because this is just good. Wow, 5,000. That's a good uh, good run there. Oh, it's been a long time since I had 3k profit. There you go. Weird. It's not that many points, even. Okay. Oh, that one was easy. I just... I missed the, the wages again. Uh... 10 to 15, right? Yes. So that's 50 cents. Uh, no, that's, that's 13, 10. There you go. But the money amount's still the same. Yeah, it's still the same as at the end of the day. So we didn't pay anyone. Yeah, no money was deducted. I like my little uh, bridge section. It'll fill up again. Like I have this, I could put them to the left a bit more. I have them exactly on the edge of the door rim. Alrighty. Um. Ta -tum. What time is it? Oh, okay, we're in four hours. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it six hours tonight. I started a bit later. Yeah, no, nothing was deducted. I don't think they're fresh veggies. I think they're frozen veggies. I'm gonna check um, the aisles real quick. Is there anything, like, running empty? Like, this one we ordered very recently, but we... Um, Storage is empty again. I think since I'm ordering two boxes for everything, it's not really happening. Like, I mean, nothing is running empty. Because we're selling more than two boxes. Per day. I don't think that that even can happen. Uh, other than the big sushi, but I keep an eye on that. And maybe toilet paper, but I have four. Four instead of two ready for that. 
Uh, same with the chicken and the <clears throat> the potatoes. I have three boxes of those. The chicken's still full, even if the storage is empty. Okay, we're good. Let's uh, do the cleaning. Uh, yeah, wait. There's oh, they're still restocking. Wait, did I do the? Okay, hold up. Just remove it and do it over. No. Uh, so the issue with this is that I have no idea what I need to order as long as they're they're not done. I'll, I'll stretch while they're work. Hey, ho! Oh. oh, my poor back. <laughs> Uh, yes, Megan, though I don't think I've paid today yet. This you know, days have started. There you go. Yeah, but so because I'm stocking so late, they're also, you know, working longer. Um, well, the freezer looks full. I think we can order for the freezer at least. And we just need chicken. I, and I did a late order for three chicken as well. You have to realize that. Well, throw in one potato. We'll just do the big, uh, the big items first then. We didn't sell any toilet paper and now suddenly it's empty. Uh, let me check they're not restocking that. Nope. So that means four of that. Are we done? We're done. Okay. Uh, let's go. So we need one of each of the bleaches. That's a full order. And we need two cleaners. Uh, no, wrong one. I still did it the wrong way around. It's this one. Because we still have some of that one. Okay, that's set. The freezer was done, the potatoes were done, so the fridge. Um, no, that's the small sushi. Don't order the big one. Uh, don't order the wrong one, I want to say, but that is the big one. Yeah, we need those small eggs. Eggies. Milk and juice. This time, orange juice. Let me check that. Yeah, because I think I ordered um, apple juice three times in the time that I needed to buy um, one orange juice again. Yeah, Larry, but uh, that's going to be a while. Because not only are they very high level, they're also very expensive. <laughs> the, the Mega Floof Mart, yes. <laughs> Buy pizza and a futon. Sounds like an idea. Okay, I got the milk uh, gone, eggs, yes, soda. Okay, we need, uh, which color is this? Yellow, and we need white cola and white water. And then water is this one. Nope, that's still running well. Oh, we ran out of veal. Been a while since I have to order any kind of meat. There you go. Mimolette and Comté. Um, 
Tack så mycket målet. Okay. All right, now we're uh, up to the shelving. Let's get this in stock. Oh, I missed. It went well. Nice wheelie. The constant turning and tossing is actually making me dizzy. Let's uh, toss the cleaning stuff over there. Drink, cleaning, oh, chicken. How's the store coming? Very well. However, it has turned a bit into a storage, stocking, uh, stock your storage, right? There you go, we got some space added. I have a lot of empty shelves now. A lot more space for freezers and fridges. I'm trying to get it inside from that corner, but it's not really working well. Angle, I mean. <clears throat> A fun fact, in Dutch, the word for corner and angle is the same. Hence my mental hiccup there. Tossing them so I have to walk less. Toss your eggs, there you go. <laughs> Lost, did you lose all your sheepies again? goes over here you do have to check it's it didn't fall into the storage instead of being put there otherwise it doesn't work 
Come on, go in. Okay, do we have anything uh, just to come take cheese? I moved the booze over here. Wait, did they just. Are they done? And they just completely demolished the bread. Or did I forget this shell? Right, no. I th what am I thinking? I need to do the shell thing. Hold on. Well, bread. I wasn't nearly as far as I thought I was. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we do need that beer. And normal sugar. I can put one in order for oh give me give me the boom just to fill up that order there you go okay where was I um, we got the sugar so peanut butter Uh, honey cereal. What do we need in pasta? Everything except the normal one. So one, two, one, two. Rice is the white rice. That order full. Perfect. I pre-cracked them to save time. Yes. It would be funny if they stumbled if you hit the stalkers, yes. We need blue flour and red chips. Um, um, yes. Larry, thank you very much for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you. And welcome. Well, last thing, hot sauce. For all my hot members. Uh, actually, throw that order in and we're, we're good to go. Oh no, I don't st I don't stock to the max because in that case I have a lot of money lying on my shelves. So I buy two two boxes when they're empty. Cuz in the end you're just moving you're moving just as many boxes, you're just moving the same product more, you know, more at the same time. And I do two boxes so that we, you know, if you ever sell more than one box per day you never accidentally order one box each day and then eventually run out i don't think well there's a couple of products that might sell more than one box per day but those have special spots i keep an eye on those they're the big items the toilet paper and, you know only four in a box but what I really try to achieve after the stalker update is not to have huge amounts of the products neither in store nor in storage. I mean, I want to have enough to sell each day and then a little extra to fill it up again, sure. But I don't want to have like a, a complete fortune on my shelves in the, in the form of, of just stock. 
I, I made so much money back by just reducing the amount of space the meat has in the store. So yeah, I'm not getting uh, six boxes or something. Plus, you know, like these, they only hold two per shelf. So you would need a lot of shelves for that, ju uh, just that product. And I wouldn't have enough space to do that once we get all, maybe now, but not once we get all the products. I mean, even for the next three licenses, I'm going to have to look how to how to set that up. Because every item, well, I mean, I can move these boxes. They're empty boxes to help me move stuff. I can move that elsewhere, right? I need to. I don't think we can... No, we can't put a shelf there. Oh, hold on. You need to go over there, you need to go over there. There we go. Nope. I missed. You found your sheep. Eventually have expiration dates. Yeah, that's something to keep in mind as well. Miss any boxes? Nope. Okay. We're opening up a little later today because I really want to get some good screenshots for the coming thumbnails. Hold on. This is, I'm not used to this. Um, I changed my screenshot mode. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Works fine. P and G nineteen twenty. Perfect. Okay, just checking. Yeah. No, I can. I I can see that. Yeah, that would work. Um. So indeed, yeah. This holds six six boxes in one shelf. But so does this, and while well, the peanut butter might not be very expensive, this is. So let's see what happens when you do that. Let's say we take the steak. Okay, let, it's two hundred ninety-nine fifty, three hundred bucks per box. So I have two. If you have four more, that's twelve hundred dollars right there. Now, add that up. Let's say this is four thousand dollars. Over here, also same pricing. Well, this is actually, you would keep that to two, so that's not so much. But yeah, there's a couple of items that are very expensive in the store. And if you overstock that, you're basically doing nothing but storing money. However, if you like it that way and it keeps you from having to order it for a long time, just go for it. Because you will eventually use it up and that's... That's the reason why I lowered this amount in the store. Because... I had, I had, think I had four spots for this ham, right? The ham is expensive too. And, but I never sold more than 20 in a day. So that means I had 60 hams that were doing nothing every single day. Because I was refilling it up, filling it up. Now add that with the meat. Where I had four shelves more. That's four boxes again. 1,200. So let's say 4,000. Because the chicken is deeper. 4,000 for all of them. In the store. No. Did it? No. Because, yeah. Yeah. No, that's correct. Now add that to a lot of products. 
And these boxes here too. Basically, I earned back a lot of money without... I think I could put these back to two as well. I don't think we sell more than 12 a day. It's no rush. Nah. Yeah, see, th that's the problem right now. <laughs> I can't... Uh, and I can't take it out and store it or something because I have the problem that I can't put down my boxes. Alright, I was taking some pictures. Oh. He's, of course, complaining just at the moment that I'm taking a picture. It's a bit busy. I changed the way I'm taking pictures so I'm no longer uh, completely pausing the game each time. Uh, not much use to take pictures. Well, I can take one right here, actually. There's the, the twins in there. There you go. I love how they bounce around. Ah, I wanted to take a picture with my <laughs> with my storage guy there, and that man just ran right in. Yeah, you go away. Hold on, their their backs are to me now. He covered exactly the the picture I wanted to take there. There you go, that's better. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I never got that idea because there is no sale in the game. Uh, the, the market price changes, but since it doesn't change back up after it goes down, it, it's not a sale, it's just a price change. So stocking up when a price goes down... I mean, it might as well go down again. You don't know. Uh, usually that doesn't happen, but it can. Yeah, see, I keep missing what they're complaining about. It was probably about these things again. I think it was the clean dish. Yeah, I'll lower this one because it's supposed to be um, 2070. Probably get more complaints again. It's okay. Mayo is already pretty empty again. It should be 1960. No, that's the market price. I'm, uh, let me see. Uh, between the 15 and the 20 dollars i'm 120 up so that's uh rounded down so that's 20 70 yes this is above 20 so that's 140 up i might have lowered them a bit or i missed a price change Yeah, that one is 140 up. I'm gonna try to set it back again. We'll see if we get a lot of complaints. Uh, I have a little list of price changes. So 
these two items that are below two are 10 cents above market price. Everything between two and five is 20 cents above market price. Five and 10 is 40 cents, etc. I have it set up per, per price range. It's working pretty well. Wait, which two? The, mod the Parmesan is very low. Keep an eye on it. No, that's normal, really. And we're 10 away from 200, everyone. Almost there. Yeah, it's the Arvid market price. We're, we're an expensive fancy shop, okay, Nuke? No, I've, I've been testing for a while. Um, uh, what the right price ranges are. So far, I'm getting now about... Well, the last few days was about between one and three complaints per day. Honestly, that's not too bad. Let me help these guys out here. It's weird that a picture sometimes disappears. Now, the thing was, Nuke, that I had everything just above market price. However, my profit plummeted. Yeah, I got no complaints either. However, I didn't... I made like... 1200 1500 profit per day so hold on um supre am we'll see i'm reading that wrong right supreme wheels i think it's supreme wheels um that sounds right thank you very much for following i always try to <laughs> pronounce it right but sometimes you make it difficult on me uh so the thing was that at a certain point my profit plummeted down so i decided to start i i asked around what people had and i started experimenting and so far this is going pretty well however it's really hard to keep an eye on complaints both because they're up so short you know they're above their heads for just maybe two seconds and then you need to get closer to be able to read it <laughs> Uh, plus, I can't, you know, you can't see them over the shelf. So even if I stand here, I can't see them. Uh, but I'd rather have a thousand dollars more profit per day than have two less complaints on average. So, yeah. But yeah, I started out like that too. You know, I've got to have no complaints. No complaints allowed. Until I realized that I was just going so slow <laughs> because of it come on guys work harder honestly though if i had to pay all these workers i'd be in trouble i only got like what was it 1200 dollars profit a day it was really very little so i decided i needed a change Now I got uh, 2,500, 3,000 a day. Much better. Yeah. Okay, let him fill up the chocolate. I think we can restart the, start a new day. I'm not exactly sure what happens. Do the boxes just go back to the shelf? Well, they're gonna keep at it. Let's go, guys. See, three. That's not so bad. I I had so hoped on getting more customers, though, with the next with the space upgrade we just got. Ah, uh, this is eighteen hundred, but I I was expecting that. I had to order more last day. Chips and mashed potatoes. That's nice because they're next to each other, almost. Uh, 390 so that's 20 cents for 10 sir sir let's get you out of my face
Uh, 6.30? I have a I have a cheat sheet next to me on the other screen. <laughs> I I don't know. I suddenly uh, had I suddenly had a huge dip. Um, Nuke, what license are you on? What li do you have? Everything you could get at level fifty. Because I honestly think there is a license that, and I think it's all the sodas. But I might be mistaken. That are just, they're making me very little profit. But they are costing me electricity. And I'm not too sure. It might be the meats as well, because they're so expensive to buy. But they at least make me more profit. Just, I, I bought some licenses and boom, I went from 3k profit to like 1500 each day. And I'm still not sure, because some, the... the the fridges aren't that expensive to, to run. My electricity bill is 200 each day. Uh, talk about the product markup pricing structure. Uh, yeah, sure. So I have it set that these two items are below two. So they go, so it's 160 round down to one so it's 162 sorry round down to 160 plus 10 cents so round down to 170 plus oh well this is 20 cents actually are we getting complaints about the butter no i remember because this is an eight i put it on 12 cents it's sometimes you need to use your <laughs> your common sense um then you have items that are not here because they're I need, to I need to go to the cheap aisles. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, so this is below 5. That's getting 20 cents. But I do it... I ignore the last number. I do it on the 20 cents on the second number, basically. On the first number behind the, pot, on, behind the dot. So this is plus 20 cents, so it's 410. And then you go to the more expensive range. I have uh, between 5 and 10, I go up 40 cents. Between 10 and 15, I go up 50 cents. 15 and 20, I go up 120. And above $20, I go up 140. But those last two might be a little bit too high. Hmm. Did I mix something up somewhere? No, it's, it's three. Um, it's 330 plus 20 cents is 350. 390 plus 20 cents is 410. I, I round it down and then add up the 10 cents. So I have everything on a round number. Make it easier for myself when I run the till. But yeah, I, I also have the list and some uh, uh, some like day, day overviews on the Discord. Mm. But keep in mind that I'm still working on it because I think the 120 and the 140 at the, you know, above 15 range might be a bit too high. However, I'm not getting that many complaints, so I'm trying to let it go as it is. But I did just up to <laughs> two items again. Okay, they're, they're not doing anything, so let's order in. Yeah, I realized what I said. <laughs> Man, now I want I want I want bread with with kebab. A Dana Döner. Oh my god, we have one. I'm hungry. Sorry. Um, we have one uh, very close by. Um, basically, Döner kebab shop kind of place, but a bit more fancy. They also have steak and such. And it, they're a Dana kebab. In, in pita bread with salad in it and garlic sauce and sambal it is so good but it, yes it's sambal i guess we call it sambal but it's more like a a chili sauce why am i typing chili nima get it together i'm looking for the soap there you go <laughs> it happens so often that i'm talking and then i'm typing and i'm typing what i'm talking um 
Well, so far, what I've seen about the complaints, no, the number of customers depends on the size of your store. You simply get a certain range as you upgrade. That, that I have seen. Also, I've seen other people talk about it. Uh, complaints is simply that they don't buy that product, so you lose that profit. However, if one product gets maybe a complaint, you know, then if the rest at all, if all the other customers pay for all their other products 10 cents more, it's worth it. They also have very good shawarma. I'm really oh. We might order in tomorrow because we're we we tend to eat quite what we consider healthy i'll not start a discussion right now on that um that's something to do on the discord <laughs> if, if you want to feel free to uh, avoid the channel we have set up for that but uh since we're going to a concert on tuesday and we're eating out then we have already sp picked our spot <laughs> there's a uh uh, a ramen bar very close by the concert hall so we're thinking about going there however we can't uh, reserve a, a table so we'll either go early and hope for the best and if they don't have a spot there's a very good uh, south indian place now i've had plenty of indian food in my life but never specifically south indian so that does sound interesting too i do like me a good curry No, no stream on Tuesday and Wednesday, because Tuesday we have a concert and Wednesday we are going to see Dune, which is a very long movie. How can you get invited to the Discord? Well, you can either type in exclamation mark Discord in chat, you get a link or there's one in the description below. On Twitch, it is of course also linked uh, under the stream, it should be. Hey Edgar, welcome back. There you go. Now everyone's typing. <laughs> yeah, you don't need a... I mean, yes, the Discord works with invites, but I have an open invite. <laughs> it, it'll last forever. Okay, we need a lot of cake. That sounds good too. You know what the worst thing is? So I, I tend to avoid sugar. Because it's, it's not doing good things for me. And... However, we do have our, you know, cheat days occasionally. Well, I call them treat days because I, I don't consider it cheating. I just consider it a little... a little treat. But I had some leftovers and it was like, oh, I'll, I'll just save those for when we have the concert and we're eating out anyway. Because I know they're in the freezer now. That's... Willpower, man. Willpower is finite. I swear. It is. <laughs> nah, it's not that hard. Uh, let me see. Uh, mayo and salt. Salt. And I did see an oil. That was low. Green oil. Chocolate butter. <laughs> Thank you so much for following that does sound good, too. Uh, sorry, which one was it? <laughs> I got distracted. The green one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that one. <laughs> Ooh, new project for Rose. Curly will keep your pieces together. Oh, all the bones. Yes. Wait, is your per wait is your birthday tomorrow, Edgar? Immediately grabs a, a schedule. We do have you in there, right? No, it is today. No, wait. I'm over. I'm sorry. No, it's the 18th. It's already after midnight for me. I do have you in here. It just it doesn't go off till later tonight. But well, tomorrow for me. But yeah, it's the middle of the night. I'm in the future, that is true, yes. <laughs> well, good night, Edgar. Have a wonderful birthday. It's, uh, if you're on the plane tomorrow, you probably won't see uh, a lot of our messages until later. 
Chocolate Butter says I was hungry when I made my name. That makes perfect sense indeed. Yeah, for me it's 3 a.m. Okay, let's get this storage filled up. What am I missing? A red orange flower and a potato? So that's red flower, orange flower, potato. I'm gonna play a little trick here. Okay, add another potato. <laughs> I'm honestly, cause, yeah, I didn't keep to my normal order. Did I order the cleaning stuff yet? Yes, okay. That means we still have the freezer and fridge to go, I think. Let me just put this in first and then we'll can check it. <laughs> well, have a great birthday, Edgar. Good night. And have fun in Disney... Lat? I always mix those two up. I know it's weird for Americans because generally first, it's completely the other side of the country. But for me, it's both on the other side of the world, so... I think it's Disneyland in California and Disney World in Florida, or am I switching them around? I don't know. Coffee. No. There. All the coffee's flying. I've never been to the one in France. It's uh, when we go to a theme park, which is rare. We generally go to the Efteling in the Netherlands, you know. Less hassle. Plus, we neither of us speaks French. I mean, I can read it a little bit, but speaking it is a and understanding it's a little bit different story. Hey, Zane. Sure. Disneyland LA, Disney World Florida. Okay, got it right. Ali hoop. Nope. You go over here. Catch. All the booze. Milk that way. Cleaning stuff. Uh, yeah, cake, cake that way too. Coffee. I'm sorting it out a little bit so we don't run back and forth a hundred times. Spaghetti can go in here. Oh. Soap. Been to both, not impressed. I heard a lot of good things about Disneyland. I would love to, uh, to visit, but it's it's expensive to the point that I'm like, yeah, is, is it worth it that much money? I mean, just a couple of days at Disneyland is just as expensive as a couple of weeks vacation if I just stay closer to home, you know? Especially if you add, of course, the flight. But maybe if we do like maybe one day we'll, we can do a vacation in the US. 
do a long vacation in the US. You know, we, we do like a whole round trip. We can visit then. But I'd have to, you know, maybe when I get a million to a million subscribers, I can afford it. No, the, the flight alone is uh, ridiculously expensive. Do you like uh, Disney World better than Disneyland? Mm. Yeah, but, you know, as a kid, we always stayed close as home, and now as an adult, we don't go that often to any amusement park. Oh, lost cake. Maybe we'll do the Efteling this year. That'll be fun. We are looking at a little, like, car trip. Um, <clears throat> luckily enough, Osaka has a car through his job. So all we need to pay for that is basically some gas when we're in, only when we leave the country. So doing a short trip, um, like, to Germany is very cheap for us. We, we have our tricks <laughs> um and the cats yeah but if we go longer on vacation for the cats they'd have to go into like the you know place they could stay because we no longer have family who can take care of them now that my dad passed away um that's that's extremely expensive so what we actually when we go away for a couple of days we have um, an automatic feeder we have a water fountain plus extra water, and we have a camera that keep <laughs> that we can watch them, <laughs> keep an eye on them. Yeah, I did order the cleaning stuff. Okay, so that means we just have the freezer and the fridge to do. I think. Did I do the freezer? Either that or it's still full. So that means we're up on the fridge. It is. What's that? That's the scallops. Yes. But yeah, that's the downside of pets, of course. Can't just leave them behind. <laughs> we need two more likes for 200. Credit card didn't like it much. No, I can understand that. That's, uh, but yeah, that, you know, if you add a flight, a hotel, the fact that you really should visit places like Disneyland for more than one day. Ooh, that's, uh, that's pricey. Then, especially if you want like a fast pass or something like that, which if you know, if you, if it's a once in a lifetime trip, that might not even be a bad idea. And that's cheese. Um, we have two more spots. Wow, this one is already low again. Oh no, I didn't order that one. Well, let's see what's uh, what's immediately very low. Rice. Oh, do the come take. That one tends to go... That one can go pretty fast sometimes. The rice is fine. Yeah, no, it's going well this time. I just... I think I had some bad luck. Or maybe YouTube had some issues or Streamlabs had issues. I don't know. I have. I still have no idea what, uh, what caused that. 
Because it wasn't my internet or anything like that, because then the music would have stopped as well. Well, the actually the one that happens during the kebab stream might have had something to do with the fact that I was recording while streaming. So while my video card was fine, maybe, maybe Streamlabs didn't like it much to multi-stream and record. <laughs> I had never done that before, that might be an issue. But the other time, no, I had no idea. Been to Disney World a few times when you were young. One more. Who's getting the 200 liked? And more cheese. There you go. Uh, this is the prosciutto. Hey, there we go. Thanks everyone. Over 200. Uh, but so yeah, to finish the conversation about theme parks, I've never really been to any other European theme parks either. Because generally when we drive to somewhere, we, uh, we go like just to a city. You know, city tour. But yeah, I'm pretty spoiled by the Efteling, uh, probably. I mean, I w it's probably n it's probably not as big as Disneyland. It definitely doesn't have multiple parks, but I find the multiple park system to be very confusing. Like, why the hell? You can tell me this or not, but I don't understand why anyone would buy tickets to one park only to then switch in the afternoon to another park. Unless you ha you really have to fit everything in one day. Why not go one day to one park and one day to the other park? I don't get that. Wonderland. Uh, what what country is that again, crew? Is that Australia? Yeah, Rob has a uh, sensitive trigger fingers. Yeah, it's Legoland fun. That might be something I could do. It's Legoland's in Denmark, right? That's th so that shouldn't be too far of a drive to visit someday. Nothing to see here, people. Move along, says Rob. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Kiwi. All right, so I think we're going to wrap it up here because I did start a bit later, so we're not going to go to full six hours. Do I know when the next update is, Pro King? No. No idea. But they just released the Stalker update, so I'm sure they're either they're probably working on some fixes first, and then they're going to be working on the next update. But I have no idea what that's going to be. Because they, uh, they have a list of things they want to add to the game. And I have no idea what, they, what their priority is. Absolutely none. Is there anyone? Uh... Mm. 
someone live murder all upcoming. There's no one I know. Nope. No one life I know. Next time then. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for over 200 likes. It's absolutely still feels amazing to get that many. I'll be on the Discord for a bit longer. I, uh, if everything goes according to the plan, I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, thank you very much for the new members and the new subscribers on Twitch. It's such a huge support. Every little bit is. Okay, so everyone voted for the ice cream and veggies. We can do another vote again tomorrow if you like it. <laughs> but it's very clear what the big winner was. Um, I'm hoping to get... Well, we're definitely getting one license then. So we'll have to see. After that, I'll probably do the booze. After the ice cream and veggies. Because the ice cream and veggies is going to take a bunch of freezers. The booze just takes mostly shelves, plus maybe a beer in the in the fridge here. Got a nice little spot there for it. Yeah, if we get more beers, we can do the same thing we did with these. I do think we can actually leave this to one shelf. Uh, the thing is, I don't really want to add more fridges. I mean, uh, like, more space for the fridges. So we can have two more fridges here and one more here. If they get rid of the damn door, we, we could put another one there, too. <clears throat> um, but yeah, in the, so really... Hell, even the cheeses, I could, I could just put those. No, actually, it's only... It's only nine per shelf. I want to keep those doubled. The eggs could go back to one per shelf if we really need to. Like one shelf per, per, per item, I mean. The little sushi can definitely get toned down. The big sushi, no. Because I've had that one run pretty much dry in a day. So yes, we could, do the, we could double up the sodas. Definitely. And give them four spots instead of five. But it just doesn't look as nice, you know? But everyone, I wish you a wonderful Sunday evening or Monday morning, depending on where you're from. Or night. <laughs> but uh, I got this uh, pretty... Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, the fact that this, the aisles are so thin doesn't really matter that much anymore because I don't need to go in them anymore. So it's just looking good. This area needs more work, but that's coming with the next license update, which we'll get, to, well, probably tomorrow. We'll see how far we get. It depends on how much money I earn. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get more customers with uh, the amount of money. I, you have to realize I spent $36,000 to get a little bit more space there, the, those two blocks there. And it didn't give me a single customer extra, and I'm a little pissed about it, but it's okay. That's the game. So I wish you a good night. I'll be on the Discord. I'll see you all next time. And thanks for watching.